Play ball. 30 of Major League Baseball's brightest stars representing every team are competing in the Players League. Finally! Watch as Hunter Pence goes head-to-head -head with Jesus Lazardo. Fernando Tatis Jr. Nico Goodrum. Woo! What a big mark! And Gavin Lux. Tune in tonight and watch the players get their gaming on to find out once and for all who's best in the show. Hi, welcome to another edition of MLB The Show 20, The Players League. I'm your host, Robert Flores from MLB Network. On this Jackie Robinson Day, as we recognize and remember the impact Jackie had and still has on Major League Baseball. We want to remind you that the gameplay that you're going to watch tonight, the players will not be wearing 42, but if you decide to fire up MLB The Show 20, play a quick game, your players will be wearing the number 42. So as we work our way through the first full week of the Players League, let's uh, remind you of the format, okay? 30 players all representing every Major League team going head-to-head, -head, a round-robin format throughout the month of April. After that, the top eight players will then advance to the playoffs. After the playoffs, it's a championship series decided via a best-of-five format. We'd like to welcome those of you watching a variety of platforms, including twitch.tv slash MLB Network, twitch.tv slash Sony San Diego. So be sure to join us there. And we also want to remind you, to check out each player's individual Twitch channel. So what you want to do is do like me, open up a whole bunch of tabs on your computer or your device and keep it here, keep it locked here. We're going to be following Hunter Pence's channel. He's our featured streamer, but we're also going to be updating you throughout the night as various players from around the Players League go head to head. So we'll be keeping you up to date on that. Let's give you a taste of what happened on Monday and also on Tuesday because there's been a lot of action. Nearly everyone has gotten their first taste of the Players League MLB The Show 20. Let's take a look at the standings. This is how it went down on Tuesday. Remember, our primetime broadcast comes your way Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 o'clock Eastern. Joey Gallo is a beast. MLB The Show 20 players know that his card is a goat. It always rakes. But the real Joey Gallo? He has been a revelation. He is 8-0. and oh. Look at what he did Tuesday, beating uh, Ty Buttry 4 nothing, and then rolling 11-1. to one. Eduardo Rodriguez almost got him in extra innings, but Joey Gallo is able to win 7-6. to six. You see Eduardo Rodriguez gets his first win of this event. Luke Jackson went 2-2 two and two on Tuesday. Ryan Stanek also going 2-2. Two and two. And Reese Hoskins, 3-1, and one, and his only loss was to Joey Gallo. Five to two. I believe we have some of the highlights. Take you take a look at what happened on Monday and Tuesday. Remember, go to MLB.com slash players league for complete results, standings, and highlights. I'll be with you for the entire night as we uh take you through this the first full week of action around MLB the show 20, the players league. All right, all right let's uh take a look at what happened. Here's Trevor May. This was on Monday. In his game against David Dahl of the Colorado, I'm sorry, May. against Josh uh -oh. Hader. It's a walk-off winner Base for hit. Trevor May. Test him. Let's Testing go. Yelly. Let's go! Wow. 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 What a throw. Not in time. So Josh game, Hader Trevor. loses oh, in wow. walk-off fashion walk -off against winner. Trevor May. Josh Hader would go 0-3 on Monday evening. Now, as for Trevor's second game, this was the one against David Dull. Watch what happens here. Josh Donaldson sends one deep to right. And look at that the animation well here. Wait, what? Oh, off the right Wait, fielder's did head. did he catch that? No, he caught it. You have to be kidding and me. And a double Bro. play. What? You see Trevor May walking you, what in the world in disgust. What missed world. it? Oh, he caught it. Come on. Make up your mind, Vasgersian. <sighs> but Trevor May was here. able to rebound. Here, Miguel Sano against John Gray. And then how about Childish Bambino? Juan Soto making his MLB The Show 20 oh, Players oh, League Lord. debut against Gavin Lux of the Los Angeles Dodgers. And with Juan Ooh, Soto at the plate, the time, Juan Soto on out. the sticks oh, goes man. deep. You gotta go. Hey, did you, you know that Juan go. Soto's only 21 years old? I know, right? The Juan Soto, however, would ultimately lose yeah, that game to Gavin Lux, who went three <laughs> and one 
on Monday. You'll see Gavin Lux a little bit later tonight here in MLB The Show 20 Players League primetime broadcast. And then Juan Soto again with his virtual self goes deep again. This one a time off Josh Hader. Juan Soto would ultimately win that game as Josh Hader went 0-3. But arguably the game of the night on Monday was Hunter Pence against Brett Phillips. Now remember, this is a three-inning format, Battle Royale style. But this game went nine innings. And with Buster Posey, Hunter Pence goes yard and wins in walk-off fashion. It was a game that had a little bit of everything including some base running mistakes by Hunter Pence, but he's able to get the win uh, for the San Francisco Giants over Brett Phillips and the Kansas City Royals. Speaking of Brett Phillips, Brett Phillips is able to bounce back against Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter went two and two last night, but Brett Phillips wins it, going deep as himself. In fact, Brett Phillips is in action right now as we speak against Josh Hader. He's off to a quick 1-0 lead. So congratulations to the Kansas City Royals and Brett Phillips as they hold on to win 4-2. Brett Phillips went 3-1 on Tuesday. Here's a look at the standings. Joey Gallo, as I said, look at what he is doing to the opposition. Wow. 8-0. Bo Bichette, 7-1, a very strong start. Blake Snell has won six in a row after dropping two games. Jeff McNeil, Amir Garrett also find themselves in the 6-2 and two position. Fernando Tatis Jr. off to a 3-1 and one start, and you're going to hear and watch the San Diego shortstop in just a few moments. He's one of our featured players tonight. Nico Goodrum and Dwight Smith Jr. They should be mentioned because... If you know the Tigers and Orioles live series rosters, those rosters are not filled with diamond players or a whole lot of gold cards, but those guys are using those lineups and have gone out to a three and one start to open things. Gavin Lux also three and one, as is Ian Happ. Reese Hoskins is five and three. Trevor May, John Duplantier is four and four. Lucas Giolito, two and two, and Matt Carpenter, two and two as well. Lucas Giolito will be in, be in action a little bit later this week. Our featured streamer is the San Francisco Giant outfielder, Hunter Pence. He's going to be opening up against Jesus Lazardo. Let's bring in Hunter Pence right now as the uh, San Francisco Giants. Hunter Pence joins us now. Hunter, what has been your... What has been your impression thus far of your play and the tournament thus far here at MLB The Show 20, the Players League? Well, I have to say my impression has been thoroughly impressed. Uh, it's been incredibly fun. Uh, it's, it's created some memories and some connections that I would have never had if it wasn't for um, you guys putting this tournament on and, and us getting to join together. Um, so I'm really enjoying the games. Uh, it, it, it makes you feel that baseball and that competitive feel that we're all missing right now. And it's it's really cool to make the connections with all the players around the league. Yeah, and it's definitely for a good cause. Uh, proceeds and, and a donation will be made on the behalf of Major League Baseball, Major League Baseball Players Association, and Sony Interactive Entertainment to the Boys and Girls Club of America and the Boys and Girls Club of Canada. Uh, Hunter, your first opponent tonight is Jesus Lazardo of the Oakland A's. Uh, what what are your expectations against Jesus? Uh, well, we got to play a little bit of a scrimmage early in, in preparation. Uh, I think we're yeah. about at the same skill level. Uh, I think it's going to be a good match. It's going to come down to who clutches up. So I'm hoping for a good game and looking forward to playing. All right. Well, let's bring in not only Jesus Lazardo, but Fernando Tatis Jr., Gavin Lux of the Los Angeles Dodgers, and Nico Goodrum of the Detroit Tigers, uh, who join us now. Hey, Zeus, let me start with you. Uh, Hunter mentioned you guys had a little friendly, a little scrimmage earlier today. What are your expectations for tonight? Yeah, I mean, like Hunter said, I think, uh, you know, it'll be a good matchup. I think all the games will be, and it's just a lot of fun to get out here and kind of connect with some of the guys and uh, get to compete again. Uh, Nico, Nico, uh, I mentioned you're off to a three and one start and your lineup does not have a lot of these, does not have the diamond cards that some of these other players have the luxury of having in their lineup. You have to be pleased with your three and one start to open things. Okay. I'm not sure if, uh, Nico. I kind of broke up, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. 
Can you hear Go me? Go ahead. Yeah, I got you. Can you hear me? All right, there's Nico. I got you, Nico. All right, well, Nico fixes his connection. Hey, Fernando, we saw you get a little excited when you hit that home run as yourself. What has that been like to uh, <laughs> see yourself in the virtual form going deep? It's just fun all the way around, you know. Uh, like, it's, just, it's just a great, amazing feeling, you know, being able to see myself, to play with myself, and hit bum with myself is pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Nico, I think you're back with us. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, what are your ex expectations for tonight? What are you looking forward to? All right. Uh, okay, I think we – okay, go ahead. Here you go, Gavin. Okay. All right, still some technical difficulties there, but we do want to remind you that you can watch this on a variety of platforms, including twitch.tv slash MLB Network and twitch.tv slash Sony San Diego Studio, right. as uh, Jesus Lazardo of the Oakland A's and Hunter Pence are going to get ready to take on uh, each other here in this game one of our featured stream, and I'll be uh, along for the ride asking these guys some questions. I'll also be updating you on other scores from around the league. So, Hunter, Jesus, you guys go ahead and get locked in, get in the menu, send out the invite, and uh, you go ahead. You guys can go ahead and, and get started, okay? Uh, as I mentioned, Josh Hader and Brett Phillips are um, ongoing right now. It's a three-run first inning for Ian Happ, however. Okay, so Ian Happ is leading Brett Phillips. Three to one. Brett Phillips jumped out to a one nothing lead over the Chicago Cubs, but Hap ended up winning that game three to one. David Dahl is out to a one nothing lead in his game. So uh, be sure to get uh, active in the chat and you can go to MLB.com slash players league. And that has everything you want. It has uh, highlights, scores, as well as links to the players individual Twitch channel. We're also joined by control room, Colin, Colin, I think we're getting set for some uh, for a matchup here between Hunter and Jesus, correct? We are. We're getting all okay. set up. All right. So it looks like it's going to be Jeff Samarja going for Hunter Pence. And then Jesus Lazardo opting to go with himself as the starting pitcher. Now, this is Jesus' live series card. Colin, I think you, you and I know that Jesus' prospect card is filth. But that's not the card he's going to have at his disposal. No, it's dirty. It's totally dirty. Yeah. All right, so here we go. So Jesus, Jesus Lazarda, Lazardo and Jeff Samarja, that's the pitching matchup. And Jesus, Jesus Lazardo, one of the bright young pitchers for the Oakland A's, made his major league debut last season for the Oakland A's, formerly a third-round pick by the Washington Nationals in 2016. He came over from Washington as part of a deal that had Sean Doolittle and Ryan Madsen going from the A's to the Nats. And here's the bad guy, Razor Ramon Laureano, leading off. Oh, dear. Good luck, my Almost, friend. Uh, Good luck. Absolutely. And that one goes foul. Try for the blooper. As you can see, we're putting a little scroll here of all the previous results from last night. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. The one, two. Our temperature not quite six. I'm not gonna lie, this is so fun. Here at game time this afternoon. Gavin Lux and Fernando Tatis Jr. about to get underway. What a night. All right, Hunter. All right, Hunter, here we go. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from... What an eye, man. That was a stone-cold take through 2-2. Two, two. And remember, three-inning format, so the starting pitcher stamina, it will be reflected upon that, so it's interesting to see which of the how the players use their bullpens. And that swung on and missed for strike one. One out, nobody on. Open up a tab on twitch.tv slash glux9 for Gavin Lux's Twitch page. 
That game is just underway. Hey, Hunter, no. I like that little front hip cutter. Below the zone, in fact. I try. I, I can never get it to actually work. Look at these tanks, though. With the two -two count and it runs full A good eye here. Running the up the pitch count. Today. Come on, baby. You got a line. Oh, Marcus Simeon getting the hands in, and that's going to be extra bases. There we go. What an A-B. Gotta warm up the pen. Early. Already already going to the pen? Yeah, three innings. That, that stamina's gonna week. go down. Alright, so he's gonna get a remember, righty and a lefty. I remember who I used. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. Ooh. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Right down the middle. Man, we squared that one up. All right, all right. All right, here we go. Hey, Zeus, hey Zeus Hunter mentioned it. What's it like playing with the guys, chatting with them under uh, under these conditions? Guys you don't normally get a chance to talk with. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's awesome. Uh, being able to talk to guys, I mean, like Hunter, that, you know, as I was young coming up, uh, I saw him playing and, and watching him play, so... Guys that I never really had a chance to or thought that I would ever get a chance to talk to. Uh, I think it's awesome to get to play here and compete against and at the same time have fun. Hunter, the pitch count for Samarja starting to be an issue. Come on, baby. Starting early. I mean, he's, he, I got to give him credit. He is not swinging any balls, like none. Like, did you practice all day today? <laughs> hey, I had, I can't even lie, I had two practice getting tired. Past two days, and I got smoked. Here's the always intense Matt Chapman at the plate. Look at that, that's like... Oh, that's a good take. Unbelievable takes. I can't get him to swing. Oh, finally. Alright. I've had trouble in the first, getting out of the first, man. Good, good inning, though. 23 pitches. Yikes. Had, had to work the count a little bit. Happy belated birthday to Hunter Pence. Turned 37 earlier this week. Oh, that ball is Thank you very much. going to be much caught. appreciated. There we go. <laughs> Not quite. They're in the bottom of the first. Gavin Lux and Fernando Tatis Jr. Around. No score. Belt in front, two balls and no strikes. The two up. I love that pitch right Watch there. the one. Hey, Zeus. Hey, Zeus, what's it like using your virtual self here in this matchup? Here we go. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of fun. I, I wasn't able to use myself uh, last week, so I no. decided that I had to make some changes and find a way to find a way to get myself in this game. Yeah. No, but it's a Hunter, lot of fun can you... using me, seeing the stuff I can do, so. Hunter, can you explain a little bit or elaborate on how difficult it is to play in the outfield there at uh, in San Francisco? Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Uh, it's a challenge. It's it's windy. Uh, the ball it, it swirls up there. The footy going one way and it's pulling the opposite, and uh, it's it's. There's a lot of room out there, so um, it's definitely kind of a circus, and it's known for crazy hits. It also, as a hitter, you have to be, you have to like hustle out everything because something that could be a normal routine out is a difficult play for both, uh, for both the, uh, the out, like the infielder and the outfielder. So you do get some sneaky hits on that or or errors, whatever you want to call them, but uh, yeah. hustling definitely pays off in San Francisco. 
We can tell you that Josh Hader and David Dahl are going to extra innings tied at one. Got to go to the pen here. Lucas Giolito is out to a one nothing lead in his right game. Lucas Giolito taking on Cole Tucker out to a one nothing lead. And still no score between Gavin Lux and Fernando Tatis Jr. Gotta get that dive in there. Let's go, baby! Oh, get the hands out. You can find <laughs> Fernando <laughs> Tatis's <laughs> Twitch page at Twitch. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash F Tatis for the San Diego shortstop. How about G? Throw him out. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Man, that guy rakes in this game. Stepping in now. Austin Allen. Oh. Popped him up. Ooh. Belt is there for it. He's got it in there. Hey, Zeus, it seems like Hunter's M.O. on the mound is to try to get inside. Get in your kitchen a little bit. That's what it's looking like. I got to make an adjustment right here. Got to go to the pen now. Good little one inning outing. <laughs> Gavin Lux is out to a two nothing lead on Fernando Tatis Jr. in the top of the second. We're going to chat with both of those guys a little bit later here on this stream. Hey Zeus, I think they're shortchanging Tony Kemp's speed here on this game. He's faster oh, than what the rating says. There's no way. Yeah, no way he's a 39 <laughs> speed right here. My guy, my right. guy PK can move. <laughs> well, that gets that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, Mike Yastrzemski, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Woo! Let's go, yeah, Lucas baby. Need you, kid. Lucas Giolito out to a 3-0 lead on Cole Tucker. That game going into the top of the third. Cole Tucker's Twitch page, twitch.tv slash Cole Tuck. How many games we got going on right now? It's a lot. Yeah, we got a lot. 24 games, Hunter, across Ooh. all ah. kinds of platforms. That is not where we want to put that ball. The one two. I know. I, I, that was my chance right there. High change up down the middle. Uncle. There it is. All right. Get down. Mm. I can't hear it. I had some pressure put on me by uh, Paul Blackburn telling me I can't oh, yeah? go any more games. So I had to, had to put him in and see what, see what he was all about. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Zeus, what were your expectations for uh, this season before everything uh, got put on hold? Uh-oh. That ball's well struck. No! That's extra bait. Oh, Save me wow. Save me. That can't get wow. the fence, though. Yes! Unlucky for Hunter. Be a thing! There it is. Uh, what is this? Oh, for Crawford, this what year. speed is that? Where, to be honest, I mean, just, I mean, my, my goal was to be up there for a full year and kind of get that yeah. experience of, you know, being a starter and being able to start for a full year. So, uh, I'm, you know, hopefully I can still do that. Come on. There it is. That's, that's been my weakness. Here's Chris this, Davis. Uh, this league, so. Oh. All right, so the third, third and final inning. Jesus up one nothing. Lucas Giolito. Twitch.tv slash General Geo out to a 5 nothing lead on Cole Tucker and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Then I'm keeping a close eye on this Gavin Lux Fernando Tatis Jr. game. We don't want that. He's been on that. What's the score there? It's two and one to the A's leadoff batter. Uh, which score? Gavin Lux and Fernando Tatis? That game's two nothing. Gavin Lux up two nothing on Fernando. Yeah. 
but it's so fun to watch it. Ooh. He blew it right by him there. Ooh. And he found Sitting on the inside. He's set. Here's the three and two. Woo! Swing here, but it won't matter. That was scary. Hey, this guy. Anyway. Not gonna lie. Lane. There it is. There it is, Simeon. In real life, yeah. That ball is well struck. Okay. Off the wall. Oh, boy. Sims hot tonight. Two for two. Oh. Smart man. Oh, some gamesmanship. Man. Not pitching to him. Can't lie. Can't lie. Chris Davis is now at the plate. Got to respect. Got to respect the uh, Olsen card, man. Davis absolutely hammers left-handed pitching. There's a lot of pop in his swing for sure, but if there's one criticism of his bat, it's that he doesn't put the ball in play. It's oh, now ooh, seven to nothing. Seems like hitters like this Lucas Giolito up seven to nothing on Cole Tucker. Base hit to left. Are they going to test? Get there. Come on. Oh, good throw from left, but in, not in time. Big run for Jesus. Insurance run in the third. Need that insurance. I think I should have caught that ball with my third baseman. I just blew it. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring. Oh, come on, chat. Defensive. Some defensive challenges. Yes, let's go. And Lazardo continues to add on. So now a big deficit for Hunter Pence to overcome in the home half. Oh, good, good pitch. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the All right. Open. Gavin Lux All just right. went deep right. to extend to a 3 0 lead on Fernando Tatis Jr. Homering with Fernando Kike Hernandez. It's now 4 0, Gavin Lux. This one's 4 0 as well. We need a big crowd. Liam Hendrick. <laughs> rally right. caps. Thanks, Lex. Thanks, Lex. All right, all right. Rally bang caps it, in the pen pals hold. You got the panda in. All right, all right. <laughs> Baited. Here we go. Taking a strike, huh? Okay, okay. All right. All right. Got a take there. Oof. Ooh. Okay. Oh, good pitch. That's a real nice pitch. I swear I checked that. I swear I checked that. I don't know how he went. Oh, don't get down. Don't get down. Yeah, Ramon. Oh, basket catch. Got the laser. Oh, perfect, perfect. Oh, my God. Oh. Nearly a great play to end it. That's it right there, huh? He checked it. He checked it. No. He went? Yeah. There it is. No! Oh! I rarely see that animation when they go for the appeal. Usually it's... No. I know, right? I'm in swing mode. Here we go. Get down, ball. Get away from him. There it is. Just needed one. And Chris Davis squeezes it to end it. GG's all around. Good game, good game. And Jesus Lozardo, on the strength of Marcus Semien, who had a couple of knocks, able to get the win over the San Francisco Giants 4 
to nothing. Uh, hey, hey, Zeus, uh, you mentioned that you had the friendly there with with Hunter Pence. He tried to get you inside on a couple of pitches, but you were able to get those hands in and go do some damage. Exactly. That was the plan. That was the plan. I had to scout him a little bit earlier, and then I, I got the scouting report later on. Yeah. Hunter, you mentioned in the top of the first, he was taking a lot of pitches against Samarja and uh, getting that pitch count up a little bit in this three inning game. Yeah, I got to, I got to hand it to him. He had some pretty incredible plate discipline, um, you know, and he, and he got his hits through there. He played some good defense, uh, pitched a good game. Hey Zeus, uh, let me ask you a, a baseball question. What was your re, uh, what do you recall about the first moment you heard you were going to go into the big leagues and you were going to be part of the, of the Oakland A's club? Well, I mean, when I heard that, that when I got called up, I was just flooded with emotion. I mean, uh, instantly the first calls were to my parents, uh, then to you know, family, close relatives, best friends, uh, all that stuff. So I mean, it was it was a blessing when I got that uh, that news, and then I was just kind of. Rush with the motion, excited to tell everyone, and then how to get on a flight and go to Houston. So, <laughs> and Hunter, what do you? Let me ask you the same thing. What do you recall about your first taste of the big leagues? About that moment that you heard uh, you would be coming up to uh, to the big league club to join the Astros. I think we may have lost. Is Hunter still with us? Maybe not. Hold on. Oh, there's there's Hunter. There you go. There you go. There you go. You're back. You're back. No, I was just asking you, what do you recall about your first, uh, your first taste of the big leagues and when you got that call that you were headed up to the bigs? Oh man, I cried uh, when they told me I was going. I couldn't, I was so happy and uh, just all the work and all the people that sacrificed for me and supported me the whole way, um, the journey. And just uh, once I got there, it was, it was just like flying on cloud nine, just, uh, Feeling, feeling good and, play, and just trying to trying to remind myself to play the same game I always played. And, um, you know, I've, I've felt like I've been living a dream ever since. Yeah. And Hunter, today, of course, is Jackie Robinson Day, and it's a day where all the big league players, when they're on the field, they're wearing number 42. You've been involved in quite a few of them. What's that day like? It's a very special day because, I mean, he's, he's uh, a symbol of, of courage. He's a symbol of doing something greater than yourself. Um, you know, equality and all the great things that our sport represents and our great nation represents. And he truly was like what he was able to accomplish and, and what he was able to do. Having the pressure to be that barrier breaker, but to perform at the level that he did with the amount of resistance he had to put up with and do it all with grace and love is one of the one of the greatest humans and one of the greatest baseball players to ever play. And it's a it's a very important day to all of us. Hey, Zeus, uh, you went to high school in South Florida. I believe you went to the same high school as Anthony Rizzo, right? Uh, and and that's, that's one of your guys. That's one of the guys that you, uh, you've grown up watching, correct? Yeah, I did. I, I uh, went to Stoneman Douglas. And so, I mean, I grew up, uh, Anthony Rizzo is a big name down here. And then obviously growing up, he wears 44. You watch him playing with the Cubs and uh, great dude. So, I mean, that's someone that I've always watched and I've kind of always admired. Uh, so, I mean, you know, it's cool to say that I went to the same high school as him. Uh, so up next for Hunter Pence will be Fernando Tatis Jr. And up next for Jesus Lazardo will be Nico Goodrum. Now, I can tell you right now that Gavin Lux is out to a 4-2 lead against Fernando Tatis Jr. Make it 4-3, to three, guys, because Fernando Tatis just added a double from Eric Hosmer to cut the lead to one. So, Hunter, you might have to wait a little bit because Fernando Tatis Jr. right now Yerickson Profar is at the plate, and there is the, the tying run is in scoring position at second. Uh, Jesus, let me ask you, as you get ready for your game against Nico Goodrum, with that win against Hunter Pence to open things, what kind of confidence does that give you moving forward? Uh, I mean, yeah, last game was a definite confident, confidence booster for me, uh, especially uh, my last outing wasn't too good for the league play, and then I, I played a couple friendlies in between. Uh, Dallas Braden, I'm sure you guys know him, uh, <laughs> got me on a mercy rule yesterday and he let everyone know about it. So, uh, I'm just excited to finally get a win back. And, uh, Hunter, what are, what kind of things are you hearing from your teammates here about your play thus far? I got a couple congratulations on the walk-off Homer. Uh, everyone was pretty positive, even though, uh, I didn't have the best first week, but, uh, everyone seemed to be pumped about that, that first game, uh, instant classic nine inning game, uh, was pretty good time.
That was crazy. I mean, that game had a little bit of everything, base running mistakes, pitching changes, and then Buster Posey with the walk-off win. Yeah, and, and uh, also it was it was nice. Uh, Brett Phillips was texting me about it as well, uh, how both of our bullpens were absolutely crushed after that game, but it's the price you pay to, for a legendary game. Yeah. Hey, hey Zeus, let me ask you, uh, you know, we're, we're all in this together here, uh, st- staying at home, trying to be safe, trying to flatten the curve. What, are, what have you been able to do during this time to an attempt to stay sharp? I mean, for me, really, it's been just kind of trying to work out and run and all that, but at the same time, still being safe, social distance. And uh, I try to stay at home as much as possible, try to work out from home as much as possible, Uh, really just go outside to throw and kind of find an area where there's not too many people and kind of long toss and get off a mound. So uh, whatever I can do at the same time while being safe and uh, flattening the curve, like you said, is is the whole point. Yeah. Hunter, what what about you? What have you been able to do? Um, So I've been doing kind of garage workouts, uh, yoga in the living room. Uh, We have uh, my wife built a net in the backyard, so I have a wiffle ball machine. Um, The Max Bat BP is really, really cool, really amazing. So that that I use that during the season. So hitting off of that helps keep my timing up. So I feel like I'm getting my at bats in and uh, just running in the street right outside of my front yard and trying to just stay as as prepared as possible while staying in the house. So after this loss to to Jesus, what um, what what did you learn, and maybe what do you try to apply in your next matchup against Fernando Tatis Jr., which I think is just now over. I think Gavin Lux got that win. Um, I got to pitch better and I got to hit better. I got to hit a lot better. Okay. Somehow, some All way. Right. <laughs> Take some pitches. Take some pitches. Maybe that. Maybe that's the secret sauce like, there. I actually feel like. I feel like I'm pretty good that last game. It was better than last week. So my pitch selection was yeah. good. Now I just need to square it up. Yeah, and, and Hunter, I think what's yeah, interesting is going like, to be like how – yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Jesus. No, I feel like I feel like Hunter's uh, plate discipline was amazing. I mean, a couple uh, – maybe one mistake uh, that he missed. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, he squared up a few balls. He, I, at the end of the day, he kind of just squared them up right at guys. But, uh, I mean, definite a worthy opponent. Yeah. And, and Hunter, finally for you, uh, I, I think it's going to be interesting to see how the fellas, you know, how they evolve throughout this month, how their stick skills improve and, and, and who's ultimately going to, to uh, walk away with it. But I'm, I'm interested to see how that progresses and who progresses faster than others. Yeah, I definitely can tell that people have already practiced up like Jesus was, uh, was a lot more clean than, than some of the opponents last week, even though I was losing. Uh, I think everyone kind of, once you play a game and you make a few mistakes, you're like, oh, I got to make sure to get this right. And uh, that was as clean a game as I've played so far. Yeah. And Jesus, uh, as Hunter said, that uh, he seems like, uh, it it seems like you've been able to improve a little bit. And I'm sure that there's a a ton of other guys that are going to do the same over the course of the next month. Yeah, no, I agree. And uh, I think losing, no matter whether it's in a video game or in real real life, uh, is never too fun. So I guess you guys practice a little bit. I know I practice a little bit. So uh, I try to better my skills throughout the week. All right. Uh, Control Room Colin, uh, where are we headed next? I know Hunter is awaiting his matchup against Gavin Gavin Lux. Uh, We're going to go to uh, Fernando Tatis right now. Okay. All right. Hunter versus Fernando. Okay. So it will be Fernando Tatis Jr. against against uh, Hunter Pence. Jesus Lazardo, Nico Goodrum is up next for you. And Jesus, congratulations on the win. We're going to circle back with you a little bit later and check in on your progress, okay? Awesome. Thank you. All Good right, luck, you Jesus. got it. So, so up next now, Hunter Pence against Fernando Tatis Jr. Uh, Fernando, you had a, a tight game against Gavin Lux and had a chance there late uh, to ultimately get the win. What happened? I just lost to the Dodgers. I'm so mad. <laughs> uh, but but you did put you did put a little rally together in that final inning, did you not? Ah, uh, yeah. You know, Bueller's still nasty even, even in the game. Jesus Christ! But then in the end, I got a little bit of a live bag. And <laughs> oh, what do you say? 
<laughs> All right, so Gavin Lux able to pull it out against uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. Uh, Hunter, what are you expecting in this matchup against Fernando and the San Diego Padres? Well, I'm, I'm excited to see a Tatis play as Tatis. We saw the three homer game, so uh, yeah, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stay ready here. I gotta stay ready. Make sure I'm pitching correct. You know. Absolutely. And Fernando, uh, I expect you to make a very solid uniform choice for tonight. I love the uniform choices that you've been making. I love the return of the brown and yellow. So hopefully we can see that here in your matchup against Hunter. Sure. All right. All right, guys. So I'll let you go ahead and get uh, squared away here. And it looks like the invite has been sent. Chris Paddock, pride of Austin, Texas. Uh, getting the start for Fernando Tatis as he makes some changes to his lineup. Tommy Pham, recently acquired, coming over from the Tampa Bay Rays as part of that Hunter Renfro deal. Pham, Tatis Jr., and Machado, the top three for Fernando Tatis Jr., taking on Hunter Pence, both coming off uh, losses in their first matches of the evening. Once again, we'd like to welcome those of you watching us, wherever you're watching us, via Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, all sorts of platforms here on MLB The Show 20, The Players League. And it looks like we're in Petco Park, a beautiful, beautiful place to catch a game. I mean, San Diego. Oh, and here we go. Hunter Pence yeah. with an amazing Let's uniform go. choice here. Orange Savage and black. Unis, Let's baby. go. I, switch, I switched it up. I don't blame you, man. Great choice. Chris Paddock starting him off with a fastball and a strike. I switched up the lineup too. Put, I had to put Billy oh, at the did. top. He's been hitting too good. Okay. He's been hitting too good. Try to get some speed up at the top. Into the wind up. Here comes the 0 and 1. No. On the ground out to second. There is Dozier. And he will. Who Hamilton can still get down the line. I know, man. If he gets on, it's. Oh, my God. The, those cleats, though. Not a fan or are a fan? <laughs> I need to get Whoa. those. I'm jealous of him. Oh, yeah, those cleats work, man. They definitely work. Oof. Oof. All right, I've never faced Paddock in this game or in life, real life. Oh, you haven't? Okay. Good pitch inside by Tatis. Little pitch sequencing there by El Nino. Low and away, and then coming up and in. Ugh. All right, now I got to get my pitch selection on. Fernando Tatis, 22 homers last season, most by any shortstop in Major League history before turning 21. Not to mention Winter League champion. Oh. <laughs> well, tell me about the Winter League title, Fernando. Oh, my God. That was so crazy, man. That was, that's been the best experience of my life so far. Still no Hands down. Two strikes. It was crazy. It what? was wild. So, so tell me, Hunter, you were on that team or tell me? I was, I, I was actually uh, on the other team that was supposed to be in the finals. I left for the finals to get back to America. I'd been there for a month and a half, but they beat uh -huh. my Toros two years ago. Oh, <laughs> Fernando, for those that have not seen it, can you describe or can you tell us what the atmosphere is like playing winter ball when you reach that championship series? Oh, man, that's crazy. It's just poor joy out there. You know, the, 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 the vibe out there is just different. Yeah. You know, people are just, they're just crazy in the entire game, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> they got instruments going and vuvuzelas, the whole thing. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a louder atmosphere, uh, for sure. And Tatis was hitting so many homers in parks that you shouldn't be hitting homers in. <laughs> oh, no! pitcher wall. Oh, that's pitcher wall. Got him. He's a pitcher wall. Wow. <laughs> Classic D-Rod. 
Is he a good? Is he a, a, a good fielding pitcher? No, he. Oh man, I did not put that where I wanted it. Why am I not throwing with my third baseman? Uh oh, late start. Okay. Able to get. Sorry, there. I was talking as that was going on. I thought the third baseman had that, but it, no, he's like a. He's like an L screen. He's a living L screen. He just gets drilled a lot. <laughs> Here's Manny Machado. Oh my gosh, Machado's hitting 545 with three homers. <laughs> Tatis has been has been questions raking with the Manny that. card, man. Keep asking me questions. <laughs> so Tatis, uh, how many homers can you hit in winter league? <laughs> Uh, I got like three in the regular season, three in the playoffs, and two in the finals. Wow. Oh, two in the finals? Yeah. Now a ball mine to the left side. Hunter, you you uh, you both at home? Oh no! Alright, what's Ooh. that? No, I was just going to ask you, I mean, uh, winter ball really helped you, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I made a co complete swing adjustment, and winter ball and is basically the reason. Hold on. Hyper-focused on this pitch. <laughs> winter ball was, was, was kind of the tool, and, and also not only just uh, to be able to play at such a good level, but yeah. the opportunity to work on my swing in the offseason was incredible. It just uh, meeting the, the the culture of the Dominican Republic, how much they love baseball, the passion, and also the opportunity to to sharpen my skills and learn a new skill. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to do it without it. Oh, that's cool, man. Buster Posey. And I got to that see one home run. Before he made it to the majors, and it was crazy. <laughs> so you think baseball has. As a bright future. So you knew right away, Hunter, when you saw Fernando, oh. you're like, okay, this kid's for real. No doubt. It was unbelievable. Like, I mean, you saw him this year. It was the same thing. Yeah. It was just like, what is happening? Line drive to left. Uh, Man, I think you're, 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 you're ro roping with this Buster Posey card, dude. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Belt, I think, is... Who I feel the most comfortable with. You like his swing. In the game, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, my, my wife has like a seven-second reaction, and when I get a hit, she goes crazy. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, fight that off, fight that off. Ooh. Here we go. All right, so Hunter's got something cooking here in the second. You know, Fernando, I was at spring training at your place, and we had a chance to visit, and I really enjoyed the vibe of your team. I, I thought that it was... You know, after last season, I mean, it, it was tough, but but I really enjoyed kind of the, the, the sense and the vibe that I got from your team. Yeah, yeah. No, it was pretty fun in the beginning, and uh, we were playing good baseball. Playing good baseball. Hey, Jace Tingler is my, like, I love that guy. Your manager, he's amazing. <laughs> he's a great guy. He's You're going to have a guy. good time what makes him. It, what makes him special? What makes him special, Hunter? Man, you just got to spend some time with him. Hold on, I got to pause for this question. This guy last <laughs> year was going to manage in the Dominican Republic. He was yeah. learning Spanish. He would wake up at like 7 in the morning, practice jujitsu. He would be the first one at the ballpark, like talking, like practicing Spanish literally every day with all of our, our Latin players. And then he, he just came with such good information as an outfield and base coach. Like he gave us so many things that helped us win games. It was incredible. Like, I think we were one of the best base stealing teams in the game last year, and it was all Jace Taylor. Just prepared, wow. passionate, loving, incredible guy. All right, back to hey, the game. Sorry about Fern that. Yeah, Fernando, you better be careful. If your manager knows jujitsu, you got to be careful around him. <laughs> oh, man. I think we'll be good. I mean, he was like right, base go. level. Like, he was just learning it. Yeah! 
Go, go, oh, what baby. a catch by Machado. Wow. Oh, well, baby. One time. Show some love for these good swings. One time. Dominic. What a guy, I man. David, guy David so Dahl long. with a walk-off win against Cole Tucker. Oh. Three to two. Ooh. Tatis, I got to give – I got to – if you ever see Stallman, tell him I respect the hell out of him, man. He's been doing it for forever. <laughs> I will. Oh, God. I can't send Buster. Or can I? Oh, oh, he made it. oh my God. Wow, he made it. Who's up right now? Is this Craw? Brandon Crawford digging in next. This will go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The Giants have struck first here. They lead it one. Chance for Pence to add on here. And there's ball one. A swing and a shot. Oh, that ball is well struck. Wow. A little dribbler. Come on, go baby. Two. Oh, what a throw. A there you play. go, Fernando. Crawford is not that slow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who are we facing here? All right, we got Haas. We got Haas, man. Let me see. Let me see. How's my energy? I'm still in the green, man. This is this is scary. I'm going I'm to try so you're gonna warm, you're gonna get someone up in the pen. Oh no, you're gonna stay with D Rod. I already have people. Okay. He's in the green. He's in the green. All right. I think pen, I think Hos, I think Hosmer's splits against lefties aren't great, but he's gonna opt to stay with Derek Rodriguez. Hunter, your manager, Gabe Kapler, has been in touch with you, right, since you've started playing this event? Yeah, he opened it up for me. Uh, he, gave me he gave me the rotation, the lineup. We agreed on it. He gave me – Perfect. Showed, showed the support and the love. There you go. Oh, my God. Wow. Why was – Billy Hamilton was just standing there looking at it. That's just bad. Oh, my God, you're hitting 750 with Dozer? <laughs> All right. Uh, wait, well, wrong button. Let me out of here. Oh, you're trying to replay. <laughs> no, I was trying to. Oh, my God. The Maranati, baby. Lucas Giolito and Brett guys. Phillips just underway in Kansas City. And Gavin the Lux and Carlos team. Santana just underway as well. Uh-oh. Oh. Nail biter city. Torture baseball at its best, Tatis. Torture baseball. <laughs> Don't let him go to the beach. Don't let him go He's hitting to the eight. beach. He's hitting 857 with Profar. I know. And... Wow. Ah, that was a good pitch. The Marana T, baby. The Marana T. Woo! Wow, that's nice. Oh. In real life, the Marana T is like a 90. 99. Oh, oh he God. brings it, huh? Oh, yeah. He's filthy. Ah. All right, so... Another pinch hitting perform uh, appearance panda, for Pablo baby, Sandoval. Panda, panda, panda. Oh, right there, good pitch. Panda's not the fastest yet. Hunter, how excited were you for the chance to come back to San Francisco? Extremely excited. Um, yeah, it's just. Um, you know, I, I have such a good good relationship with the organization, the city, the fans. Um, thrilled to get to come back and, and play another season with them and uh, excited for the new staff and talking with a lot of the young guys and getting to share as much knowledge and, and learn as much as I can. 
Oh, this time Machado can't come up with that one. Get him! No, no, no! Carlos Santana down 2 nothing to Gavin Lux and the Dodgers. You can watch Carlos's feed at twitch.tv slash slamtana41. So open up a tab, oh, keep us I here. You, I see you. Play, trying to play those games. No, no. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Hamilton's causing havoc. That's why he's at the top. Let's go. I hate dealing. I hate dealing with base stealers in this game. Oh man, yeah. Oh god. Oh dear. Whoa. I'm not gonna lie though. I've gotten picked off too much that I'm scared to steal. Riding in once again, Brandon Belt. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now a throw over. Runners back. All right. The first pitch to him. And a pitch out. Nothing See, it, like I tried to steal now. that time, but it didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good contact. There. He got perfect, perfect. Oh, the perfect, perfect line out. Wow. I'm 0 for perfect, perfects in this tournament. I am O for perfect, perfects. True story. Man, you got Kurt Henning and happen. still got a line out. That's not what you want. Lucas Giolito out to a two nothing lead on Brett Phillips and the Kansas City Royals. There we go. Let's play. I am so fascinated with Trent Grisham's batting stance and the way that he holds the bat. He has that kind of that Ty Cobb separation there between his hands. He's loose. He's nice and loose. Please make that throw. Ooh. Ooh. Great. Grisham can get down the line, man. Oh, wow. How well did you hit that? How well did you hit he that? He hit it pretty well. It was, wasn't It wasn't a perfect I, I perfect. Complain. I still can't complain. Who we got here? Oh, baby. Good pitch. Need you, Tony. Need you. Ooh, blue. Not sure about that call. Hanging tough. Ah, and that's it. That's it. One nothing win. Hey, my friend. All right. Wow. <laughs> wow. That game, uh, Fernando. I felt like there were a couple of times where you hit the ball right on the screws, uh, but it was either right at, at someone or just wasn't enough. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hunter, uh, the Dodgers got in his what, head a little bit. <laughs> what, uh, what, what was the, What was that? What did you think was the difference in that game? Who are you asking? Yeah, Hunter. I'm sorry, you. Yeah, I think um, I think my pitching just kind of clutched up. Uh, they hit their spots really well for me. They threw some balls that were. Uh, yeah, I mean, I scored one run for him, so really the pitching and defense this game what really came through for me. Yeah. Fernando, what has been your experience like uh, th thus far in this tournament? I mean, we've seen you uh, be very animated and uh, 
what what has been your experience like thus far in this league? It's been fun, man. You know, uh, it's just a it's a great time just uh, to shave your head with what's going on. You just have a little bit of good time with the boys out here, playing a little bit of video yeah. games, and uh, you know, just having having a blast out here, having just fun with the boys. Uh, Hunter, you mentioned hey. uh, the shared experience that you two have playing winter ball. Uh, what do you recall about? You touched on it earlier, but what do you recall about the first time that you saw uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. on the field? I mean, I couldn't believe he was as young as he was, and I was just like, "Oh my goodness, this is!" It was one of the coolest <laughs> things to to really witness. And I just couldn't wait for him to get to the big leagues because it's such, you're such a special talent, Fernando. And I just want to tell you, man, you. everyone loves watching you play. Keep being you. You have the personality. And uh, it's just it's just awesome. You being you and, and getting to see him play in the Dominican before he made it was, was a special treat for me. And uh, I, I loved every minute of it. That's great. Thank you, man. Hey, uh, I mean, for, Fernando. Uh, what what was uh, was there a moment last season where you had a man? I'm arrived, or I have arrived. Have you had? Did you have that moment at all last season? Uh, I will say like right just before the All Star break, mm -hmm. the game against the Dodgers, I went deep twice. I was like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I mean, Hunter, isn't that amazing that a, that a kid uh, that talented – I mean, I think it speaks to just how difficult this game can be that even as someone as talented as, as Fernando still has doubts. Yeah, and I, I think that's a good message to, like, everyone, every kid out there that's playing because, you know, I watch Fernando Tatis and winter ball where it's a softer baseball and these parks, the, the air's heavy. It doesn't carry. And I watched him hit homers there that – I couldn't hit the ball that far, and he's 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 not as as heavy as me. He's a shortstop. He's faster than lightning, and he's got that power. And <laughs> and just for him to say that, you know, I think everyone has to battle that, and that's the, one of the beautiful things about this game of baseball. Um, we all we all have to put the work in. We all have to practice, and we all have to battle. As a hitter, you get out two out of three times is the best in the world, and it's a tough game. Is, well, uh, up is. next for uh, Fernando Tatis is Carlos Santana. He is currently playing right now in the second inning against Gavin Lux, and Carlos Santana is trailing three to one. Uh, Fernando, what what are your uh, after this loss with Hunter? Uh, what are your takeaways, and how do you apply this or move past uh, that result? And uh, you know, as you move forward here in this league. I've been playing very good games. You know, I lost. I lost to lost four to three. I lost one to zero. I mean, I'm hitting the ball hard and I'm pitching good. And just keep going. See if the ball turns my side. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, control room, Colin. I want to bring you in here. Uh, yes, so, sir. what? Uh, I, I think we we're, we're waiting on is what? Where? What is the status of Nico Goodrum's game? Let me check uh, that out here. I don't know the status. We are having some issues getting Nico back on. Issues the with Nico. So uh, okay. Once he's available, we're gonna have Hunter and Nico play, and it's just we'll just have you and Hunter up. Okay. All right. So Nico is that game against Jesus Lazardo is tied at three in the third. You know, Hunter, you're talking about Fernando's talent. And uh, I, I, I mentioned, I told Fernando that, you know, I was at spring training uh, back in March and we did, a, we did a hitting demo with Fernando. And the idea was for him to show us what his pregame routine is. And uh, it, it, he did it, Hunter, in one take. Everything that he wanted to do with the baseball, he did it in one take. I mean, normally guys need three or four takes. Hunter, he did it in one take. He was sending balls opposite field, you know, screamers to the wall in one take. I was like, okay, I guess we're done here. He's as gifted as I've, he's as gifted as I've ever seen, so that doesn't surprise me at all. And uh, yeah. hey, you got to work with my good friend Luis Ortiz as well. Right, I right, did. Fernando. I I love, He's I love amazing, him. huh? That's a great guy. He's a great guy. You know, I learned a lot from from him. I learned a lot since 
the minor leagues when I got traded, uh, he was one of the first ones from San Diego to give me a call. And uh, he helped me all the way through when he was with San Diego. He's a great guy and a great hitting coach. Yeah, Fernando, sure. what did you learn about yourself in that time that you had to be away from the game to, to recover from injuries? How difficult was that, and what did you learn about yourself? Yes, you know, a little bit more just taking care of my body because um, out there I was, you know, I play the game like extremely, extremely hard. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't give myself right. a chance like to lay back or stuff like that. And uh, just just some small tips, you know, that can help me how to combine that and still play the game I want to play and still stay out there in the field 162, 163 games. All right, so Fernando Tatis Jr. and Hunter Pence just completed a one nothing game. Uh, up next for Hunter Pence is Nico Goodrum, and Nico is still conducting business in his game against uh, Jesus Lozardo. That game was about to go into extra innings. And then Fernando Tatis Jr. is awaiting Carlos Santana, who is getting seeing his first action of the Players League. He is uh, trailing 3-1. to one. Uh, in the top of the third against Gavin Lux. Uh, Hunter, we've, we've heard you mention your wife, Lexi, and she is uh, uh, very involved in in the uh, the technical setup. She is uh, right there in the room. Uh, so you've got your own little uh, cheering section there and, and or tech support as well, right? Yeah, 100%. I wouldn't be able to, to host this without her. Um, she is in the <laughs> studio in our rental, in our rental place. Uh, she's amazing at, at all of this and and doing the whole production stuff so it's been it's been really good having her like i'll hit a ball and like something will happen and seven seconds later i'm getting her reaction she's throwing sugar at me she's keeping the vibe up even after <laughs> after the loss uh that was my fourth loss in a row so it feels good to get back uh on the winning side uh, <laughs> it can happen and uh her, but her support to to make this possible Hello. And, uh, oh, we got. Hey, hold on, Pablo hey. Sandoval. What's up? We got Pat. How you doing, man? Carlo, uh, Pablo, how you doing, man? I'm doing great here at home. Uh, were you able to watch any of your teammates Hunter Pence's uh, previous action here in the uh, MLB The Show 20 Players League? No, no, I don't got a chance because I, I'm setting up uh, my gaming computer right now. Oh, I'm okay. On the way right now, doing all that stuff. So, well, uh, what what have you uh, what have you been doing here on this uh, on this time away? How are you trying? How are you staying sharp? Oh, I think we, we did. We lose him. Panda. We lost Panda. Okay. Panda. All right. So, all right. So let's bring it back full here and. Once again, uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. losing to Hunter Pence, one to nothing. You heard Hunter mention that snapped a four-game losing streak, so definitely a, a good win for him. We're going to try to get back Pablo Sandoval and Hunter Pence and Fernando Tatis Jr. Meantime, Gavin Lux is opening things up against Carlos Santana, seven to one. Uh, that game is uh, on Gavin Lux's Twitch page, GLux9, and for Carlos Santana, Slamtana41. So Gavin Lux is out to a seven to one lead on Carlos Santana on this, the first full week of MLB The Show 20, the Players League, a month long regular season. It will then go to the playoffs. The top eight reach the postseason. And then it'll be narrowed down to two for a championship series that will be decided in a best of five format. We want to invite you to watch, uh, keep it locked here. Uh, keep us locked here with our primetime broadcast as well as each of the individual players' uh, Twitch broadcast. You can have multiple tabs, toggle back between between the various channels, and you can keep you locked there. And there's Hunter Pence raising the roof. Back. My Hunter is – Is he here? He, yeah, he, he was here, and he then we here. lost him. And then we got, lost I him. But I think disconnected too. Right as I was oh, saying really? how good Lexi was – I got disconnected. <laughs> um, now fault. you, it, you, you. She has uh, what? Uh, almost twenty thousand subscribers on her own U, uh, YouTube channel, right? Let's yeah, get she's Lexi. Been running a YouTube channel for how many years now? 
Um, about six. Six years. Uh, we have oh. videos of everything. There's a camera in my face Hi, all day. <laughs> hey, Lexi, how are you? Good. Uh, how are you? And did we, was it a freeze? And we caught a freeze. Yeah, all right, we caught a freeze. Bring it back full here. I want to remind you, MLB.com slash Players League is uh, really one-stop shopping for everything you want to know about MLB The Show 20 Players League, scores, standings, schedule, highlights, and uh, and much more. So that's MLB.com slash Players League. Gavin Lux out to a 7-1 lead on Carlos Santana. There's Hunter Pence. Lucas Giolito has just beaten Hunter, I'm sorry, Brett Phillips, 7-3. to So the White Sox beating the Royals, 7-3. to uh, Hunter, you, you mentioned briefly about your relationship with the uh, San Francisco Giants organization. When you played that one year at Texas, uh, did you have uh, any inclination that, you know, maybe I will find a way back to, uh, to the Giants in San Francisco? You know, um, I didn't really go too far into the future. I told the Giants on that last day, I was like, hey, come check out. I'm going to go to winter ball. I'm going to try to change my swing, keep the door open. And they said they would. And um, so fortunately, I was able to get an opportunity. I, had, I met some amazing people, had a great time, got to play in the last year of a stadium that was built in my home city where I That's grew right. up. And I was there when it got built. Um, and then, you know, Fate has it. I get to. I get. I got to come back to the Giants this year, and um, so I've been very lucky to for all of these opportunities and everywhere I've played. And I'm so thrilled to be back with the Giants. And I was. I really enjoyed playing the last year at. At. I, I guess I call it the ballpark in Arlington. I don't remember what. That's what I call it too. Yeah. I, yeah. I apologize. Globe Life. Park. <laughs> I think it's Globe Life. Yeah. Hey, what can you tell us about you? You've mentioned a couple of times you had to change your swing. What can you tell us about the changes that you had to make? Uh, to continue your career? Yeah, so um, my whole life uh, and like growing up, a lot of my teachings was like to swing down on the ball and to stay inside the ball. And I was kind of a bottom hand, swing down to create backspin. And um, and it was just like, for me, I was more, besides mechanics, I was just like, I'm gonna practice, I'm gonna see the ball and I'm gonna hit the ball. And I didn't really know my swing. I was just competing and tried to get myself as strong as I could, as fast as I could, and like just trust my hand-eye coordination. Uh, obviously, at, at some point, um, if you want to maximize your potential, you probably need to maximize every little thing, including not only strength and speed, but leveraging your body properly. And so I, I, yeah. there's a whole bunch of new swing technology that's out there, and it's about top hand, underneath, like matching the plane. So it's a long story, but that's the smaller Twitter version, I guess. Are, are you a guy that likes having a great deal of stats and analytical information beforehand or where do you fall on that? Um, so I started to learn uh, last year by the end of the season, like understanding. So not necessarily too much about like, like I like to know how hard they throw, how hard each pitch is, the percentage they throw them, not in every count, just in general, um, kind of an idea of what locations they throw. And then the rest is just the movement, the spin axis, the plane that it's coming off on. So you you know if it if it if it's deceptive. Like some, if you follow the the spin axis, a pitch that may look like it's here is actually here. So then you know to like swing for the top of the ball or to adjust your barrel to be on plane with a ball that's not sinking. Versus if it's sinking or having this other movement, you want your barrel to come through at a different angle. And uh, I, because I, I just can't imagine how difficult it is to. Um, you have scouting reports for every pitcher and the, the, the way bullpens are used, especially, uh, how do you keep it all straight? Well, you go over, you go over the starting pitcher that day and you go over the whole bullpen the first day of, you know, you just get in early and just do the work and you just go over the whole bullpen the first day of the series. So you have an idea, a little bit of each of them, and then you just got to cover the starting pitcher and it's, it definitely is, you know, you got you to gotta put about an hour and a half into the video room before at the start of every series. And then if you play teams a lot, there's usually only one or two new pitchers and uh, you kind of get a feel for it. So it's just part of the baseball rhythm. All right, so that's Hunter Pence, uh, fresh off a one nothing win against Fernando Tatis Jr., a couple of other scores. Ian Happ beating David Dahl 3-1. to one. Ian Happ is 3-0. and oh. And remember, he was a, he was a player that uh, got beaten pretty badly by Blake Snell a couple of nights ago. So a nice bounce back evening for uh, for Ian Happ as he wins uh, three to nothing. And uh, Lucas Giolito 
off to another big lead. He's up seven to nothing on Brett Phillips. Uh, G Lucas Giolito beating Cole Tucker in his first matchup. So uh, up next uh, for Hunter Pence is Nico Goodrum. But uh, control room Colin mentioned we, that we have, we have some technical issues. Nope, we got it. We got him. Got okay. It. All right, so let's bring in Nico Goodrum. Nico, this is Robert Flores. How are you? How are things been going? Let's get it going. <laughs> oh, I think we got I... a heavy delay. Okay, heavy delay. Hunter, All right, can so you, heavy uh, delay. Go ahead and start the game. I think we lost. Uh, we we have a little bit of a freeze. Okay. All right, so I think Hunter Pence and Nico Goodrum are about to get underway. Uh, we're also waiting. Also, after the Nico Goodrum matchup for Hunter Pence, you'll see the Dodgers and the Giants go head to head as Hunter Pence will take on Gavin Lux, who just beat Carlos Santana seven to one. So Gavin Lux gets another win. Uh, he beat Fernando Tatis Jr. to open the evening. Uh, meantime, Fernando Tatis Jr. will now take on Carlos Santana, and we are back here. Hunter, uh, I think you and Nico, Nico are just about to get underway, uh, so why don't you go ahead and uh, send out the invitation. Uh, I sent it out. We're in there. Okay. All right. We're in here. We're ready to get locked in and loaded, and once again, a very strong uniform choice for Hunter Pence and uh, Nico Goodrum. Let's see what kind of uniform he goes with. Of course, you can't – I mean, that Detroit Tigers, that old English D is so iconic and one of the great uniforms in all of Major League Baseball. Not really a whole lot to, to be messed with there. So there's a look at the starting rotation choices for Nico Goodrum. Is he going to go with Ivan Nova? Nope. Looks like it's going to be the left-hander Daniel Norris, a 73 I believe that's a bronze card. And Nico Goodrum will be batting second. Drew Smiley getting the start for Hunter Pence and the San the Francisco. Lefty matchup, baby. Little little lefty on lefty action. So Hunter Pence getting ready to take on his his third opponent of the night. Back up, in Nico? back in San Francisco. A little bit of a delay, I think. Here's Victor Reyes. Oh, dear. oh you got your batting practice jerseys on, I think, Hunter. <laughs> I don't even know what number on those. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're just oh. opting to wear the BP gear. <laughs> no. Oh, base hit. All right, so leadoff knock for Nico Goodrum. Uh oh, flip it for one, fire it for two. Back in it, double play. Savage BP tops, baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're going for the uh, for the simple but clean look. Here's Miggy Cabrera. Looks like the game is uh, reflecting his new weight loss. Miggy came in much lighter in 2020, at least this spring, than he had in years previous. He struggled with injuries. Woo! Skating on ice right there. That was scary. You're playing in that with that low sun too, Hunter. I think that's interesting. I, I know. I put a night game. This is the first time I played a night game at home. I had to try it out. Okay. It's giving me the twilight time. This would be the first inning, not the. Uh, it's technically the seventh. Whoa, that is impossible to see. What the heck? Yeah. See, that's what I was afraid of because with that Daniel Norris, look at how you, the ball just disappears oh into gosh. the batter's eye. Was, was he dealing with that? Uh, that's yeah, tough. because Drew Smiley's coming from that left side. That that sun, that's a tough sun right there in that batter's eye. I didn't eye. think about that. I did not think about that. I've never played at night. I just was mixing it up. First pitch. 
Yeah, people at home, uh, people where you're watching, look at where that ball goes. You just lose it. Wow. That's tough. <laughs> this is a good take. Maybe if I get really close to the screen, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Hunter, you can change your view. You might get a different oh, angle. to what? No. Oh, wow. Hunter, that is, that is difficult. Players in the chat, if you get this, son. It might oh, make me better. It might make that me better. That could be extra bases. But players in the chat, if you get this son and you offer me a friendly, friendly quit, I'll take it because that is a tough thing to deal with. Oh, I thought I crushed that. To the right side of the infield, Cabrera has a play. Woo! Catch for the second out. This might make me better. I need to not see the ball. <laughs> Although, look at what you're doing with Buster Posey, hitting 455 in the cleanup spot. Not terrible. No. Let me check in with Nico. Let's see if, see if Nico has... warm up the pen. Oh. Well, you might be able to go... A... I think you can go another inning with, with Smiley. If he has that same view, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's Jonathan Scope, former Oriole. Nico Goodrum was a second-round draft pick back in 2010. 28 years old. Robert, we lost Nico for a second. Hey, we what lost happened? Nico, but we well, gained we Pablo him. Sandoval. Hey, oh, Panda, yes, how you doing, guys, man? How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. What about you guys? Sailing, get, get him my set up. <laughs> get him my set up on my computer, man. Whoa. And what I are you, Pablo? Are you going to make a movie? Are you making a movie or something? Uh, I, I, I'm going to start, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start streaming. So oh, okay. Go That's the good thing. I love it. Let's go, baby. Yeah. You gonna start streaming, Pablo? So, I'm gonna start, yeah. I start yesterday. You know that playing a, in a pro FIFA league in back oh, okay. in my country, so I'll, I'll be playing, playing MLB FIFA. the show tournament. This is sponsored by MLB the show, but that's awesome that you're streaming. You should try some MLB the show. You should, Pablo. I play, Get you I play on the couple. sticks, man. I play couple. I play couple. I can play couple. Well, I'm good in FIFA. I'm I'm, play, I'm good in soccer, so that's that's the most thing that I can do. <laughs> hey, hey, Pablo. We'll take care uh, of you. We got you. Hey, Pablo. What's it like to have Hunter back, back with the Giants after that year away? Man, you know, it's a bless. It's a bless because he's a great guy. He's always want you to be the best. He give you the best. Yeah. In the dugout, in the clubhouse, uh, he wants you to give you, you guys give the best out there. And, you know, have the, the mentality in my clubhouse, uh, it's a blast. You know, it's a great guy, play thousand percent in the field. He never give up. That's a good thing. And this year was going to be uh, a, a, a new chapter for, for you guys. You know, Bruce Bochy, your, your longtime manager, replaced by Gabe Kapler, whole new coaching staff. I mean, what, uh, what were you – I know you guys hadn't been together very long before things were shut down, but what was your experience like with the new coaching staff? Wow, you know what? It was one of the things that, that I love most this spring training because – we got a great, great a muffer out there. We working out. We do a lot of things. Those guys out there go every day to put something different in the program to work. So it's one of the things that when you got John, John talent out there in the clubhouse, it's 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 important, you know. And I have those guys the flexibility from those guys come every day to work. It's, it's the most important thing for us to to be happy and I, and I, and I work with them. 
Well, uh, Panda, you, you, it looks like Nico Goodrum's opened up a, a, a 3 nothing lead on Hunter here. He's got a rally here for your San Francisco Giants. Let's go, Hunter. Let's go. <laughs> I know, man. Hey, got to feel the click. I, I know what you do. Hey, I know what you do and run. Take that push market ball. Take it off. The push market ball. Go to auction. Yeah. Oh, he's saying change the settings, huh? Yeah. Setting. Yeah. You, don't, you don't want me to use the start. analog. Hey, yes. Pablo, what have you been doing? What have you been doing for training? Have you been getting some hitting in with? Uh, I've been doing, I've been remote. working out, Rene, Rene Rivera. Rene? Uh, yeah, we've been, yeah, we've been hitting with, I've been hitting with him. I've been doing my condition at home, everything, but we're hitting in the cage every day. Yeah. Awesome, man. I got to say, I'm pumped to get to play with you one more time. You told me, you told me at, uh, at D-Rod's wedding, you said you want one more, we got one more run in us. One more. One more run. You remember That's you told me that. He told me that this offseason yes. before the Giants said anything to me, and it came true. So Pablo's got a special knack for making making great things happen. And hey, you know, one of the best thing, Robert, let yeah. me tell you this. This guy right there was my best man at the wedding, in my wedding this year. Oh, was he? Hunter. Oh, that's great. Yes. That's great. That's the love hey. that I got for my, for my boy right there. Oh, what a play by B. Craw. Oh, wow. Great diving stop. You know, Pablo, uh, Hunter mentioned, you know, you said people are counting us out, but we got one run. I, I was at your camp, and there were a couple of guys that mentioned, hey, we see what people think of us, and we're using that to, to kind of fuel us and get ready for 2020. Yeah, this is one of the things, you know. They they say we got we, we got plenty better in the, in the field where – we are all, and uh, you know, it's one of the things that I'm looking forward. I hope everything going away. I hope everyone's America, every the world's healthy. No, no more yeah. coronavirus for nobody. I hope that that, I, that we can play and we can show, we can give the fans that love we got for them. So I hope everything go that way, and uh, we can show because everyone counted out. The Giants out, so because yeah. we don't got so much so much talent, but we got plenty inside us. Uh, we got a heart that we want to play every day. That's what uh, I'm talking pa about, Pablo. Well, Hunter, you got to show some heart here, right here. You're down four nothing. You got to okay, get it going. You see some heart. You Let's go. See some heart? Oh, uh oh, did you just call your shot? Oh shoot. No, no. Popped it up. Hey, pa ah. Pablo. Today is today. Pablo is Jackie Robinson Day. It's it's a day that you know everyone yes. wears number forty two. Uh, you, you've been through. Yeah, you've been a part of a of a bunch. What is that day like to, to play and wear that number on Jackie Robinson <clears throat> Day? It's a, it's a special for for me, especially. You know, I hope Roberto Clemente had one of those days too because it's a, I'm yeah. a Latin guy. And uh, Roberto Clemente to give you the opportunity to be part of this, but be the first African American player and play in the big leagues. You know, it's, it's a special for me because I'm, I'm coming ah. from, you know, Latin American, but it's, yeah. it's part of, of 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 this journey. You know, be part of this is special for me. We're number forty-two, and uh, you know, represent my Latin community and. Uh, everyone out there yeah well uh pablo we appreciate you joining us thanks a lot for uh for popping on it was great to hear from you i echo your sentiments on roberto clemente i think that is uh is an honor that's uh uh, uh do as well uh come on, uh, come but, on. Uh, hey good yes. luck with your streaming and hopefully we can see you maybe next year on mlb the show 20 players league thanks a lot pablo i will thank you guys thank I you pablo. Sure. hey good luck thank hunter you, bye thank you all right, so Nico Goodrum up to a 4 nothing lead on Hunter in the th top of the third. Remember, a three-inning format here. If you're just joining us, a lot of you players familiar with Battle Royale. Similar thing here, three-inning game. We can tell you that Gavin Lux is up 6 nothing on Jesus Lazardo. That game in the third. Brett Phillips hung on to beat Cole Tucker 4-3. to We got blowouts all over the place. 
Five nothing Josh Hader over Ian Happ right now. And, uh, and Hader ended up winning that game, by the way, five nothing. MLB.com slash Players League is the website you want for all your scores and highlights and schedules for MLB The Show 20 Players League. Meantime, on an 0-2 count, Nico Goodrum sends one to center. 2-0. Uh, two outs, rather, in the top of the third. All right, keeping an eye on this game as well as other games around the league. As Nico tries to add to his 4 nothing lead in this third inning. Oh, that's a good pitch. That is a good pitch. Fight. Jesus, Jesus Lazardo has added three runs in the third and final inning. He's still down oh! six to three, however. Woo! I needed that one, though. Let's see where he's going now. The 2 2. Good read. And that one never threatened. Ooh. Lucas Giolito just put a, a hurting on David Dahl. 12 to nothing Dang. finals over White Sox over oh the Colorado God. Rockies. It appears oh, we're going to have a pinch runner. Nico not messing around, trying to add here in this third inning. Looks like it's going to count. Come on, Derek. Let's go, Derek. Look at it. Look at it work. Wow. Great. I need that. A great move by Nico Goodrum. The pinch runner scores. Wow. And remember, with I mentioned Nico at the top of the show. Oh, that ball just lands foul. Wow. Come on, beat it. Little, beat it. little nubber. Little nubber. He's safe. Man, that is um, some bad defense skills they got for that pitcher. Garcia is really good on defense. I was wondering if you kind of got hung up there, if you got no, caught he in between. Move. He, he actually oh, okay. wouldn't move properly. I want to see his fielding score. Is there a way to look at it? Hold on. What do they have his fielding at? 50? That was weird. Oh, well. Right, come on, Big Mars. All right, so Hunter going to the bullpen. Come on, get it ready, Murph. Oh, just a little tardy. Just a little tardy. <laughs> oh, almost threw the bat away. He throws 100, though, which I don't understand. He throws he 100. Does throw 100. Ooh, look at it's the hard. It's hard. It's hard. Slide piece. It's, it's hard on the game, too. And in real life. <laughs> It is. It is. Oh no! I can't have. I cannot have Derek Hill at first base. You know, I can't. I can't have that. Derek's not ready gotta, for that. Gotta go to the. Gotta right, go to the big. Yeah. big rally. I got. I got Chrome. I got Chrome. Did, okay. I got, All right. I got, I got big Chrome over there. Pick it, Chrome. So a big Paint. lead like for Nico Paint. Goodrum here. That's a nice Paint. pitch to start the third. That's Sherwin Williams. <laughs> it's Brandon Crawford. Oh. Crawford's really yet to get going with uh, for Hunter Pence, Ooh, batting dirty. under 100. Dirty. Joe, that was dirty, Joe. Pablo's got to do something. He just he showed up. He's got he's gonna show up in the game, I believe. Yeah. I love that you're getting him all these pinch hitting appearances. That switch he's hitting. 250 as a pinch hitter. Yeah, I mean the, the switch hitting is a weapon off the bench. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good pitch. 
one out, nobody on. And this ball runs away. Good eye, Pablo. Good eye, Pablo. Start the rally, baby. No, oh, no. I need that. Oh, that's paint. I thought you had him. What? Yes, How did I swing at that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! Together, a real nice at bat here. Fighting. That was a tough pitch. He's battling. He's battling. Grunting. Grunting makes everything better. Ugh. Got a grunt. Okay. Billy, don't, don't do that. To Are you going to go bunt cheese here? Honey? Hey, no. Bro. Don't do that to me. I just need some speed on the bases. I can't have Pablo running. Yeah, you can. All right. Tough man to double up at the plate. Okay, Bunning down oh, five on, nothing. Why did he not do it? Wow, what? How did you not tag him? I have never He's seen that animation before. Wow. Okay. Who good pitch? I'm lost. I'm lost. Uh oh. That ball's well hit. Going back as a left fielder looking up, and he made the catch. Wow. Hey, I was hey, I stopped breathing. Well, I want to see what the exit velo on that is, Hunter. I thought you got it, man. Exit velo only 94? 43. 43 miles. Mm. I like that. Oh, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Woo! Oh, wow. Good game, good. Wow, that's it. Good game, Nico. Uh, Rough. Congratulations to Nico Goodrum. Nico, you really uh, cut a little bit of a statement win there, winning on the road 5 nothing. Congratulations. I, I appreciate that. I needed that. That would be it for me. You know, I, I mentioned early, I mentioned you earlier specifically, also with Dwight, also Dwight Smith, and that the lineup that you guys have is not filled with a lot of diamond players or gold players, but yet. You guys and you, especially here, just uh, just here recently against Hunter, you're finding ways to win. That's got to give you some confidence moving forward. Yeah, I'm just you know hitting the baseball is hard on here, and like I said, in real life as well. So just I'm, I guess I'm just getting lucky right now. But uh, well, I, my, our players are better than the show, you know, push the rating out here. Even though we ain't got the the platinum or the diamond, we, we're gonna yeah. make it work. I'm gonna make it work. You know, you guys got to make it work with what you got. Uh, what What about moving forward? Uh, what has been your – or let me ask you, what has been your impression? What do you think you uh, you need to work on moving forward as you work your way through this league uh, the rest of the month? Bullpen. Once I get to my bullpen, making sure I'm hitting the the little uh, meter, the little – the line yeah. meter because once I get to the bullpen and I, and I don't hit that line, it's going to be right down the middle and then – you know, it's kind of tough. And I start walking, guys, and it gets, it's a mess. So that's it for me. It's, it's, it gets uh, and, awful then. And, and lastly, obviously, today is Jackie Robinson Day. Uh, you visited West Hills Middle School recently to discuss the legacy of, of Jackie Robinson. And, and you highlighted student national winners of the Breaking Barriers essay contest. Uh, why was it important for you to be involved in that cause? Uh, it was big because I'm, I'm always trying to give back somehow, and uh, that was an opportunity for me, and I, I want to be bigger than just, uh, you know, entertainment on the field. I want to try to impact some lives uh, when I can do it, and um, that was one of the ways I could do it. And, uh, it was a good opportunity, and she wrote a she wrote a great essay, and um, they had a couple winners out of that school, so it was just a good time. And um, like I said, I'm always trying to find ways to give back and uh, show show guys they can, they can make it too and do what they want to do. And lastly, Nico, uh, you know, the Detroit Tigers right now are in the midst of of, uh, of rebuilding, trying to get back to those uh, winning ways. Um, how do you feel like where your team is right now as an organization and before maybe we see some uh, some playoff baseball, October baseball with the Detroit Tigers? Oh, we're, we're excited. You know, people, people kind of south, man. And uh, we, we just have a lot of young guys that are trying to get their feet wet in um understand how to how to handle themselves at the big league level and that's a process in itself and uh but the organization is doing a good job of bringing people in and uh developing the players so um i mean i'm always out there trying to compete i don't care who it is what team it is 
um, you know, I'm I'm going after whoever whoever it is. So uh, it doesn't matter what team it is. I'm I'm always gonna bring that energy, and I try to uh, show that to the other teammates, and you know, push them and show them they could be great. And uh, I think that's the thing of you know building a, a chemistry. Uh, chemistry is huge in winning. So uh, once that chemistry gets there, that's that's I think the winner will be there too. Yeah, Hunter. You know your championship teams that you were a part of in San Francisco. Uh, they were known for their great chemistry. Can you explain to us how that chemistry is created and how important is it? Um, you know, it's kind of a perfect storm of just, you know, young guys coming up together, veterans that 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 just are great leaders. We had so many great leaders and everyone, it wasn't just one leader, it was uh, it was everybody. Everybody was leading. They They demanded everything of the young guys and like you heard it from Pablo, man. We loved each other. We loved playing, and we didn't care what anyone said. You just go out there and compete because they're gonna. No one's ever. There's 30 teams out there. No one. Everyone's gonna have doubters. No matter what team you're on. No matter how good you are. Even the best team is gonna have doubters. And it's just you make your decision to go out there, play with love, and good things seem to happen. Yeah. Uh, Nico, I think that kind of speaks to what you were talking about just a few seconds ago, that ultimately, look, it, it's stats and things like that and analytics, but really it, it, com being a competitor and competing is still at the heart of this thing, right? Yeah, no doubt. Um, winning is the is the goal, and if you're worrying about what you did that day, is is it's not going to help you win. you got to figure out ways to help your team win day in, day out, and um, – you know, like Hunter said, that chemistry is big and expecting things from each other and holding each other accountable um, is, a, is a big thing and, and it goes into the recipe of winning. So um, having those leaders and in, um, in the clubhouse that can show the young guys what to do is, is big as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've got some people here in the chat, Nico, wanting to uh, uh, ask or get your thoughts about uh, about Al Kaline, one of the great Detroit Tigers who passed away. And and your organization has so many great players, including great players that are still around and, and are part of the organization or at spring training. Uh, I'm wondering what your thoughts were uh, there on the passing of uh, Al Kaline. Yeah, that, that was tough because, you know, we just got back from spring training and, you know, seeing him and talking to him and you just never know, you know, that was going to be the, your last time. But a um, great man, always, always willing to help um, when he can. He's always at the clubhouse, every home game, uh, talking to you, making you feel welcome. And, you know, the, the great thing he, he, he's done and the, the legacy he has and, uh, you know, he's a Hall of Famer that's still reaching back, trying to pull someone up. Um, so it, it just speaks on uh, how great of a, a human being he was, not just a baseball player. Yeah. Um, Hunter, I think that's what, what's one of the many reasons what, what makes this game so special is to see the great players from the past still hang around with their former clubs, to talk with the current players, and, and really kind of pass down – the traditions of that particular club. And obviously the San Francisco Giants have one of the best traditions uh, in all of Major League Baseball. Absolutely. I think uh, the baseball family is a tight-knit group that looks out for each other, that takes care of each other, and, uh, you know, passes on wisdom. You know, you, you can learn so much from the, the guys who played before you. And, and even, you know, it's my belief we can learn a lot from these young kids as well. There's so many perspectives. But it's a great tradition. Um, you know, one of my favorite sayings of all time is to plant trees that you'll never see grow. And that's what a lot of these old guys do for us is they, they, they plant tons of wonderful seeds, sharing tons of knowledge. And it's just because we love the game and, and we love to talk baseball. And uh, we do have some special ones with Will Clark and Barry Bonds and Will, yeah. Willie Mays and Willie McCovey. Just absolutely incredible history and incredible people. Uh, all right, uh, so Nico Goodrum, up next for you is Fernando Tatis Jr., one of the great young players in all of baseball. And another uh, great young player is Gavin Lux of the Los Angeles Dodgers. I believe we have Gavin now uh, here. He just finished, I think he just beat Jesus Lazardo. Uh, so the Dodgers yeah. beating the Oakland A's. And, and we're going to wrap up this featured stream featuring Hunter Pence with a Giants versus Dodgers matchup against Gavin Lux. Uh, control room, Colin, do we have uh, Gavin? Yes, we do. Hey, good okay. luck, Nico. Good games, man. Good get, Good luck, Nico. Appreciate the time. And uh, Gavin Lux of the Los Angeles Dodgers now joins us. Uh, Gavin, I was keeping an eye on your game against Carlos Santana. You won that one going away. Give us this. What was the score on the, the Jesus Lazardo matchup? Uh, it was 6-4. He, uh, I was up like 6-0 and he came back. Or no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was 6-4. He came back in the last inning and 
started scoring some runs, I was getting a little, I was starting to sweat a little bit. I was getting nervous. All right, so uh, you're getting ready to take on the San Francisco Giants and Hunter Pence. Hunter, uh, for, for those that, look, if you're a baseball fan, you know the Giants and Dodgers. You know that that's a thing, that it's a rivalry. But for, for people that aren't around it, that don't live on the West Coast, how would you describe the rivalry between the Giants and the Dodgers? I think it's it's a beautiful rivalry, and and I mean my chat right now is going crazy. Like they've been saying all day, all you have to do is beat Gavin and you're the goat. And uh, <laughs> you know the, the Giants Dodgers rivalry is it's intense in San Francisco. I know that for sure. Um, but there's also yeah. a lot of mutual respect because the Dodgers is a great organization. Uh, so obviously, uh, I love the Giants organization as well. And and rivals is what competition and what challenge and and what. Um, you know, the craft of baseball is all about. So it brings out the best in you. It brings out those good feelings. Every time you play the Dodgers, it means a lot, and, and it, it brings that beautiful passion. Yeah, and Gavin, I know you haven't been a part of the rivalry for very long, but uh, what have been your early impressions and what have been some of the stories or what have people told you about what this rivalry means? Yeah, I mean, it's two really, really good organizations, obviously, going at it for, for a while now. Um, it's just really fun to be a part of. I think I got two series against them, and you know we all the crowds always sell out. Um, it's just a lot of fun to be a part of, man, and a lot of really good players on the field. So anytime you can do that, it's pretty cool. All right. Well, let's see the uh, San Francisco Giants take on the Los Angeles Dodgers yet again, but for the first time here in MLB The Show 20, the Players League. So Hunter Pence against Gavin Lux. And I was seeing a question in uh, I'm monitoring Gavin Lux's chat. He's asking, how do you know who to play next? Is it like a round robin kind of a tournament? Well, it's more like a, it's a league. It's 30 guys going head to head. They'll play each other once. And then we're going to have a playoffs at the end of April and a championship series and a best of five to decide the one champion. And you can go to MLB.com slash Players League for a complete schedule. Uh, but right here, it's about to be Gavin Lux against Hunter Pence. Uh, Gavin, are you undefeated tonight? Yeah, 3-0. Okay. All right, Hunter. The gauntlet's been thrown down. It's, it's, it's about how you finish. That's right. It's about how you finish. All right. So guys, what have I'll you let done you for go me ahead. Lately? What have That's you done right. Lately? <laughs> you gotta, right. I think you got to send the, uh, you got to send the challenge because it's at your place. Okay, yes, got that's right. right so Gavin will be getting into the menu to send out the, the challenge will be at beautiful Dodger stadium. Um, I, I will say this about Dodger stadium. I do not think TV does it justice. It is, I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful place. Wherever, you, Whenever you go in there, you feel like you've walked into a, a time warp. It's like 1961. It's like time has stood still. It is a beautiful, beautiful park. So Gavin Lux and Hunter Pence prepared to, to do battle here on this Wednesday evening. Remember, our primetime broadcasts come your way Monday, Wednesday, and Friday nine o'clock Eastern, we pick out one featured streamer and we follow that player's progress for one night. And I give you some scores and highlights from around, uh, from around the league. 24 games were on, were scheduled for today. Uh, checking some other scores right now. Let's see. Josh Hader got a five, nothing win over Ian Happ, Lucas Giolito. Lucas Giolito has been putting up some big numbers uh, tonight, he beat David Dahl 12 to nothing. All right, so we should be What's ready to go. Who? Uh, Lucas Giolito? Yeah. Uh, let me find out. Uh, let me see. All right, going into tonight, Gavin, Lucas Giolito's record was 2-2. Two and two. I believe he's 3-0 and oh tonight, so he's 5-2. and two. Right. We're Whoa. underway. Clayton Kershaw getting it started for the Dodgers. Uh, we've got uh, we've got Gavin wearing going with the uh, Brooklyn Dodgers uh, motif for the Dodgers yeah, uh, uniform throwback. today. There we go. Throwback day at Dodger Stadium. Oh no, that might be a hit. Uh oh, no, that could be it. trouble. Oh, Barehand throw, wow. not in time. Oh, got him! I can't believe that. Wow. Got him. 
Yo, what a throw. I thought, I thought he was beating it out for sure. That's a nice scoop. Oh, give it to me. Excitement to open the game. Man. Hunter, how do you feel about the, the hot zone? Is it accurate for you or no? The hot zone? You see what I wear? Yeah, like, like hot and cold. Red and blue. I don't know what you're talking about. It might not be in his settings, Gavin. It could, maybe. Okay. Although it should, it should be there. Is that like where they hit good and where they hit bad or whatever? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. Uh, I don't really pay it much attention, to be honest with you. And that'll bring up Buster Posey. Wants to look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a Ooh, good pitch. That's a good pitch right there, Gavin. Maybe I should. Maybe that's been my issue. <laughs> no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing it that way? If all. Good there on that pitch. No. That's coming on. That's going to drop in everywhere. extra bases. No, he, wow. he can't I get the second one. Nice off. throw. It's a nice throw by Mookie Betts to get it in. Ooh. Oh, my. Oh, man. Gavin, someone in the MLB net or in the Sodi San Diego studio chat wants to know what do you think about your hot zone? I literally on the game I don't even have one, so. <laughs> well, we need to fix that. Uh, I'm a little hurt about it. It's like all just white and a little bit of blue, so I don't know how I really feel about it. I feel like they're disrespecting like you. That's what I think. Ooh, I've hit that. enough with my guy. I think his hot zone is like up and in blue, and I would say that's kind of fair. I mean, sometimes I, if I get to it, it's, I do big damage, but you can get me up and in. I know the Dodgers throw me all high fastballs and sliders away. I can tell you that. <laughs> Gavin's batting 417 with Mookie Betts here, facing Johnny Cueto. Here's Mookie Mantle. That could be extra bases, and it will be. Robert Cullen here. Hunter, who is the uh, Jesus back in? Your toughest at bat. Okay. What's that? Who is the toughest at bat in your career? Probably. Oh, what? Oh man. I don't know. I don't. Uh, well, Lincecum when in his heyday was probably one of the toughest. I think Arietta. Uh, through the two years that he had like a one ERA was another really tough one. Uh, Ooh. No way. Wow. I deserve that, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's welcome back in Jesus Lazardo of the Oakland A's. Jesus, uh, you, you mounted a, a late rally against Gavin Lux, but uh, ultimately came up a little bit short. Yeah, it came up short. I thought I had him at the end. I, I know I had him short. But uh, he ended up bearing down and he got me beat. That was a good game. It was a good game. It was a really good game. I was nervous at the end there. Yeah, I did see that. It would not let me move yeah. my guy. What was that? Was that virtual you in right field? Uh, that was virtual me. It wouldn't. It, it wouldn't allow my cursor to move him. But that's okay. Oh. It happens, I guess. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna get uh, gonna get the bullpen up. Hey Zeus, uh, how did you end up finishing tonight? I know, I saw you oh, beat Carlos you Santana. What What was your record tonight? No, actually, I haven't played Carlos Santana yet. Oh, you haven't, Car okay. Up. Uh, yeah, he's finishing up with uh, Tatis, I think. So, uh, so far, I'm um, two and one tonight. Two and one. Okay, so you beat yeah, mounted, Hunter. Mounted a late comeback against uh, against Nico. All right. 
Nico's a pretty good player too, man. So that's a nice win for oh. him. Oh, yeah. It was a uh -oh. big, big, uh, big walk off by Matt Chapman. Wow. So a walk off winner for Jesus Lazardo and. And Gavin strikes first. Oh, shooter. Hey, Hunter, you got to watch out for uh, Cody Bellinger, man. Guy doesn't miss. <laughs> that's, a, that, that, that's a dangerous, dangerous card. In real life and in the game. And an error in the last game led to four runs. I'm just, I'm having trouble with the glove right now. Oh, you gotta give me that. Gavin, when you heard you guys were getting Mookie bets, what did you think? Oh, I mean, I was, I was so excited. Anytime you can get a guy like that and add him to your lineup, I mean, you can, he can definitely do it all. So, and he's a, he's a special dude too. So, oh, Ooh, that was that's a good pitch. That curveball is so slow. Mm-hmm. A lot of chances for the shortstop. Yeah, he's just getting his work in. A lot of shortstop grounders. Hey, Zeus, are you able to use any or have you attempted to use any of your real-life skills, real-life knowledge, and apply it to, to this game, to this setting? Uh, in terms of like maybe reading a hitter's swing uh, type deal, yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes you notice the guy's a little late or a little, you know, looking for, hunting a fastball he's early in a, in a on a swing. So that type of stuff, I guess you could say, is something that I picked up in real life and I put it into this game. But uh, at the same time, there's some things that don't translate well. So, and, and what's what are the what are what types of things are those? Um. Well, the other day I had uh, I was playing the game and I had Matt Olson make an error. And I don't think Matt Olson's made an error in years <laughs> since he was born. So uh, yeah, no, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes certain things like hanging pitches and this and that. But I mean, it's a, obviously it's a part of a video game, and I mean that's what makes yeah. this kind of fun and a little unpredictable. All right, so Gavin out to a two nothing lead in the going to the bottom of the second. Johnny Cueto still on the hill. Chatting with the Oakland A's Jesus Lazardo as he gets ready to take on Carlos Santana. Carlos is playing Fernando Tatis Jr. right now. I feel like that should have been hit better. So Fernando Tatis... And Carlos Santana are just about to get underway, I believe. Oh, All right, no? here we go, Gavin, man. Do something good. No, he's taking on Josh Hader. That's who it is. Okay. No! Hey, um, Hunter, if you give me a cookie, I'll give you a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> You're already out, though. <laughs> No, yeah, I messed that one up. If you come up, you could you could have said that sooner. We would we could have done it. <laughs> hey, when I, when I when I play in the playoffs, we just give each other cookies. Little fat dude. <laughs> hey, you know, Jesus, uh, both you and Gavin, as young players, got a got a little taste of the postseason oh, okay. last year. Jesus, what was your what was that experience like for you first? I mean, for me, it was it was unbelievable. Just getting the chance to get in front of like the Oakland, the Oakland crowd, the Oakland Coliseum. Uh, you know, we had that that environment. We had that the, all the noise going on, and and just being able to go out there and kind of get my feet wet in the in the playoff atmosphere was a lot of fun. And um, to be honest with you, it was probably the craziest experience I've ever had. So uh, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm blessed and I'm thankful that I got that opportunity. Gavin, you you went deep in the playoffs. What was that like? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, Zeus hit it pretty much right on the head there. Um, it was just cool, yeah. I mean, you grow up and you watch the playoffs, and, you know, you say to yourself one day, like, it'd be pretty cool if I could get out there and, and you know, play in the playoffs. It's, uh, 
it's definitely a different different animal and a completely different vibe but um it's pretty cool it was a lot of fun man oh no uh oh bunchies <laughs> no, so wow billy hamilton that's not cheese. That was legit. That was no one on. Uh, you're right. You're right. Oh, Ooh, wow. Man. Hunter, you were on that. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. So we got Kenley oh, on no. the close. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Going back. Oh, wow. My tournament. I thought you got that. my tournament. Fly out to the wall. Hunter. Hunter, it sounded like you got it. it my this oh, my tournament has been fly out to the wall. Wow. That's it. Oh, and that's it. Hunter. Good game, Hunter. All right, good game, Gavin, man. Good luck the rest of the way. Ah, it's painful. Two errors to cost me. <laughs> I guess only one error. Wow. But still, I'm I'm thinking about that last hit. Who was it that you had there? Okay, that, was that you? Started. Was that virtual that you at me. the plate? I, I need to do I need to do some virtual push-ups or something. You know, good good. What a man! It's all good. But, I have but, to bloop, I have to bloop them with my stats right now. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I thought you got that perfect perfect because it sounded like you got a perfect perfect off the bat. No, it was just good good. It was All a good, just good. good, good. Um, so, Gavin, a very successful night, right? Uh, I believe you're four and zero. Is that what you ended up with? Four one on the night, yeah. Yep. All right, so four and zero on the night for for Gavin Lux, and so that moves his record to seven and one. You got to feel pretty good about how you've started off here in the league, Gavin. Yeah, tomorrow I got a tough schedule. I think I got Joey and. Snowy. Yes. So it should be a good, a good day tomorrow. That'll be fun. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that, Gavin, because, uh, yes, you, you're going to take on Blake Snell, who's six and two. Blake Snell was in the chat here uh, a few minutes ago. I'm not sure if he still is. And then I th think you also said you take on Joey Gallo, right? I want to say I play Joey too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Gavin Lux. Uh, what about you, uh, Hunter? Do you have the night off? Let me pull up Thursday's schedule here. Thursday, I'm you sure are off. Are. Yeah, you are back at it on – you're back at it on Friday. You'll take on Ian Happ of the Chicago Cubs, Amir Garrett, Josh Hader, who has been in action tonight, and uh, John Duplantier of the Arizona Diamondbacks. So – um, I feel like it was a, it feel like it was a mixed bag for you tonight, huh? No, it's. Uh, I think you got to score more than one run in four games to have a chance. So I got to work on the offense a bit. Uh, a lot of a lot of flyouts to the warning track. So um, I'm going to try yeah. to hit the hit the weight room. All right. So yes, uh, classically famous Blake Snell is in the MLB Network Twitch chat. Uh, so he is uh, ready to take on uh, Gavin Lux and be back in action tomorrow. So Fernando Tatis beat Carlos Santana three to nothing, and now Carlos is now facing uh, Josh Hader. So uh, Jesus Lazardo, I believe, was awaiting one more. Uh, control room, Colin. Where are we at, and where are we headed? I think uh let's go back to hunter you guys can talk for a bit we might have another guest uh actually okay maybe let me give me a minute here we might bring someone else on you got it gavin all thank right you so much. hey gavin congrats gavin congratulations man good luck the rest of the way i'm sure we'll check in with you okay i think we may have lost lost gavin uh back here with uh with hunter pence uh you you touched on something earlier that i thought was interesting and in that uh you know you guys when you're when you're playing each other day in and day out i mean uh, you don't really get the chance to to talk with guys in this setting or form or fashion, and and I would imagine you don't really get a chance to know guys uh, the way that this format, this game, allows you to uh, to strike up a relationship with. Yeah, I think it, it's definitely a unique uh, scenario where we get to we get to spend time with a lot of guys that we would never have got, gotten to meet before. Um, you get to yeah. 
grow a relationship and connect baseball in a way that it, it, I've never had an experience like this connecting baseball. And um, one of the things that's kind of crazy about Major League Baseball is it's one of the only team sports I know that we don't shake hands after a game. So it is kind of a good feeling to have camaraderie and, and a game that we're competing at such a high level with such high stakes. And uh, I'm really thankful for this opportunity. You can remember, remember you can always choose. Who's joining us, Colin? Hey, Blake Snell, classically <laughs> famous. What's up, man? Dude, are you wearing your own? Are you wearing Snellzilla shorts? Did I see that? Oh, his mic might be off. Blake, your mic might mic be off. off. I think. Turn your mic on. There you go. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold, there we go. Blake. There we go. Now, oh. hold on. <laughs> All right, we'll go Hold back on. to you guys. Okay. Um, you can watch, uh, check out Hunter Pence's uh, Twitch page at twitch.tv slash Hunter Pence. Uh, Hunter, you've, you're, you're, you've been streaming. You've been streaming for quite a while now, right? I would say on and off lightly for like, I've had this stream for like six years. I think, I believe I was one of the earlier professional athletes to jump into streaming. And uh, I've been a gamer my whole life, so... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely uh, an area that I enjoy. What uh, besides the uh, uh, the sports games? Uh, what what are the games that you uh, you like to play the most? Um, I'm a I'm a big Magic the Gathering, which is a card game. Uh, yeah, I love playing Magic the Gathering. I love playing. Um, I'm not sure I can mention some of these though here on the the PlayStation MLB. You could just show. mention format, first person shooters, that kind of thing. Combat games, you know, uh, I like, I do like Mortal Kombat is one that I've enjoyed uh, throughout my childhood. And uh, yeah, League of Legends was another one that I really enjoyed. Yeah. And and you've mentioned your, uh, your, your gaming, uh, gaming bar lounge there in, in Houston. Uh, how, how is that going? You know, um, tough times right now, but they're they're powering through, and we're getting some crazy support from the the community. And uh, you know, obviously, I'm I'm the back, I'm gonna I'm gonna be supporting them 100. percent And I got to give a big yeah. thanks to all of our our staff and our manager Sandy uh, Sanford. Um, but they're grinding pretty hard right now, and uh, hoping we can get back up and running. But it was doing really good before the we had to shut down. Yeah. Well, hopefully, we uh, we're all back doing what we love to do uh very very shortly and uh let's see if uh, blake is have we figured out blake's technical issues blake can you hear me no blake no nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder what i wonder what's happening there i mean blake is a prolific streamer and i mean he is, he is. i know I mean, his his setup is legit oh oh, oh. Oh, okay. I see. What I can't happened. even see him. I think to he, be fair, I think he had to change headphones. Uh, We're so he's getting that. The computer. We're going straight into the computer straight here. Straight to the computer. Um. No, still Blake nothing. Needs Alexi. Man, Blake needs Alexi. He needs a. He needs Blake a needs yeah. Alexi. You're one hundred percent right. Oh wait, I think I may have heard something. Maybe he doesn't. Negative. No. Mm -mm. Negative, Ghost Rider. <laughs> uh, Blake is set. Uh, Blake, Blake is. Be uh, more great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Blake is six and two. Uh, he'll be taking on, among others, tomorrow, Gavin Lux, who's now uh, seven and two. Uh, who else is Blake Snell taking on tomorrow? Remember, the games will be continue our primetime broadcast Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 o'clock Eastern, 6 Pacific. But games go through on throughout the day and check out the players' individual Twitch pages. Uh, Blake Snell, uh, let's see, Joey Gallo back in action tomorrow. Have you played Joey Gallo yet, Hunter? I haven't. I haven't. I've gamed with him a this lot on dude. the back of the plane last year, but never MLB the show, so... We, we, he's a he's a decent gamer. I mean, he's been Obviously just he's good at MLB the show. He yeah, he's been molly whopping people. So he'll put his undefeated record on the line tomorrow against Ryan Stanek, Bo Bichette, who is seven and one, Gavin Lux, 
and Carlos Santana. Uh, Colin, did you want to stick around and try to try to try Blake one more time, or do you want to just? No, I think we'll we'll follow up with Blake on uh, on Friday. Okay. All right. So we'll be back with Blake Snell on Friday. Hey, Hunter, thanks for being our featured streamer tonight, man. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I know you had some tough results, but I feel like things are going to start turning your way. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate you uh, keeping the show flowing. And uh, thanks for hanging out for all the games. Thanks, you guys, for having me. It was awesome. Much appreciated. All right, so that's twitch.tv slash Hunter Pence. Be sure to give Hunter's Twitch page a visit and a follow whenever you get a chance. All right, that's going to do it for tonight. We'll be oh, back with you up, on – uh-oh. Pause our breaks here. I think we might have gotten Blake back. It works. Hey. Oh, it works. There we go. Oh, my God. What would you do, Blake? Um, I'm just absolutely uh, the most tech savvy guy in the world, and I grab my phone. We're on uh-huh. the phone. There we go yeah. on the phone. Um, what what did you think of some of the action that you saw tonight? So I watched the last game uh, with Lux and Pence. Um, good game. Uh, Pence has gotten a lot better, honestly. So not looking forward to that matchup um, at all. Um, who else did I watch? Um, did you see how close Hunter? How close Hunter came to get you know with that go ahead homer? I thought he had it. The one in the third inning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did too. And then Ballinger just does what Ballinger does. So mm -hmm. sad days. Sad times. <laughs> I'm pushing for you though, for real. I want uh, I, want you I appreciate playoffs. that. I'm I'm having I'm having some uh some really rough luck with my defense. Yeah, oof. I'm gonna I'm gonna start watching. I'm gonna start tuning into the streams. You should watch yeah, Joey Gallo. Well, I mean I know you've you've no, played I'm, Joey I'm Gallo, too. Blake. Um, yeah, no, I've been watching him. So, uh, yeah, he's disgusting. I don't. Yeah, not not a fan. Uh, I I going think off right now, Snell. You said what? Who's your hitter that's going off right now? Who Who are you feeling right now? God, who? Probably Meadows. I think Meadows. That's a good Meadows. card. Oh, my left. That's a good Meadows card. and Choi. Choi's like unbelievable, actually. I so, told we you were talking about that earlier. Card. Joy yeah, is sneaky, sneaky. amazing rakes. Billy Hamilton Super. has been my best offense. He probably what, just slap singles and then run all the way around the bases. He'll, he'll drop or, that bunt down. Bunt every time. Safe. <laughs> that's like the Mondesi card. <laughs> that's exactly. a that's a good card too. Yeah. Uh, really Blake, is. you're you're six and two. Bo Bichette, mm -hmm. seven and one. Gavin Lux is seven and one. Joey Gallo is eight and zero. Oh. And all of you guys are playing each other tomorrow. So it could be a pretty big night. I think it's, yeah, it's going to be a big night. And we need everybody to tune in. And we need Gallo to just relax, Mr. I don't play ever, just the best player in the world. I don't get it. Uh, he's locked in, dude. Have you seen the look? He is locked in when he plays. Yeah, I can show you the look. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's his game of face. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. Focus face, baby. Focus face. He is. He is focused. He is focused. He uh, so that, if that he should... gets beat. So I hope he doesn't get beat. Yeah, I, I really need him to get beat, just so I know he's beatable. That's it. He's <laughs> like Ivan Drago. He's like Drago right now. Can someone he cut was... Ivan Drago? Seriously. I like that. <laughs> you gotta there believe go. Snellzilla. When you're wearing your own hey. pants with Snellzilla on them, you got a chance. I need I need a pair of the Snellzilla pants, bro. Dude, where, where do we get this you. gear? Where do we get this gear that you have? Where can we get it's it? It's coming out in like in like two weeks. I'm making a website right now. It's coming out. I'm gonna give the it to you. Savvy, I promise you. I'm gonna send the you the gear. Self-proclaimed most tech-savvy man in the world with his Snellzilla pants. Yeah, oof, a website, dude. This is awesome. Yeah, tough. Those are tough gonna go. Those are gonna be fire. I hope so. I love man. it. I'm, I'm excited about it. I I'm mean, I got all this downtime. So, so. Hey, I appreciate exactly. that. Exactly. Hey, thank, thank you. you. Uh, hey, we gotta buy coffee too, guys. Pants got the coffee. We need it. Don't be afraid to get some coffee, Snell. You know, and drink some hey, on stream. Hey, you know, it gets you right. Hey, I don't drink coffee, but I'm going to drink your coffee. I'm going to go buy some Pence coffee, and I'm going to drink it on stream. You don't, you don't drink coffee? No, yeah, I drink Baja Blast Freezes. 
<laughs> That's bad. What are they? Hey, someone what? in the wait. What is a it? Baja Blast Freeze? It's like a slushy. I drink oh, slushies. Okay. I was oh. wondering what the energy drink of choice. I think I, I think uh, you know Gallo's got to be on those bio blasts as well. That might be the trick. He's definitely eye drops before the before the game. Hundred <laughs> <100%. laughs> percent. He's locked before every bat for sure. Is he really? I wouldn't be surprised. Is he really doing that? He has to be. I mean, has to. He's, he's locked an in. Eye drop freak. Has to be. Oh, I, is he? I mean, that's is that I'm his? Doing. That's what he does, huh? I mean, he he has uh, he in real baseball. He's an eye drop guy. And he's got to get the trainer Sorry. to do it. Like, he can't eye drop himself. So, I don't know. Yes. Uh, Blake, there's a couple of people here in the chat saying, and I quote, I need it so bad. Do you have any oh. idea what they're referring to? Uh, I think they're, uh, I, I really, I don't have a clue. I just think they're talking about like that one time when I was like, I need it so bad. I need it so bad. <laughs> I need it so That's bad. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh man. Jesse Chavez hey, well, great as knee jab. You, oh, you said what? Jesse Chavez what? Jesse Chavez, his 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 go to quote all the time, and he'll be like, line driving the gap, need you, hum babe, need you all day, need you. I like that. Just, I like great. that. It's the same thing, same difference. It's baseball chatter, you know. It gets it gets stuck it in is. your head the more you hear it, you know. Yeah. And hey, I want to ask you something, Blake. It. I yeah. want to ask you something. How come after a strikeout, why do you guys, why do you guys throw it around the horn? Like, how, how do you? I have no clue. It, Hunter, you, you I would got prefer any thoughts if on I that? just get the ball back and then just stone stare at the hitter. <laughs> get the ball back. I mean, <laughs> you wish they just threw the ball back to you and you just stone stare at the hitter, <laughs> just like statue him, catch him, just stare at him and just statue it. That would be so awkward. <laughs> Change the game, you know, need it. Need, need the throwback to the pitcher. Stare. Let's go. Yeah, yeah just go to the catcher. Bring it here. Let's oh, go. <laughs> just no. get back on the mound. That would rattle some people. That would rattle myself. That's I mean, a long oh walk. They're just staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's they're, they're look, if, faster. This is weird. Yeah, if, maybe if, it's just if some batters, movement to if, distract from the uh, disgrace of the hitter, you know? Yeah. Oh my, that would be so bad. <laughs> Look, That's if guys are going to backflip and and pimp homers, I think Blake should be allowed to just get the ball and just stare at you as you make your way to the dugout the whole time. Hey, I've never backflipped or pimped any homers though. That's uh, that's you know, are you you're a sprint guy? You, I wouldn't say I was, sprint. I would say but fast I just jog. jog. Yeah, yeah fast, okay. chill jog. Like, not super slow, okay. not super fast. Like, I don't know. I'm not – like, I just, like, I enjoy the competition. So, even when I do strike out, like, I, I enjoy the battle because I'm learning something from even yeah. the strikeout. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting your pitches. Like, what was your sequence? Why did I strike out? So, I'm playing all of that. And, like, when I hit a homer, it's like, oh, yeah, well, like, so what? Like, I got him this time, but he could easily strike me out the next time. Like, maybe I was looking for the pitch. So, to me, I just enjoy the process and, like, the way at bats unfold, the way a pitcher pitches me, like what's their movement, what's their out pitch, what what is my body doing to time this pitcher? So that's why I'm not really bat flipping, and not not that I'm against it, let the, you know, let them play. But I just that's my that's my style. It's like I'm just enjoying the competition. Hey I like Blake, that. I was playing I, I I was playing someone online, and he hit a homer, and he l would me, forced me to watch the replay. <laughs> I I beamed the bat the next batter right in the ribs. So <laughs> and I guarantee you said you douche. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I just can't. I just said I was like, hey, that's how you learn. That's that's how you learn. Yeah. So yeah. you know, the only can't difference though is they get a base runner and no pain, and in the real game, you get a lot of pain. There's a big that difference. Is true. But it somehow feel, still feels good in the game. Yes, it, it, it felt really good. It felt yeah. really good. I'm not going to lie. Well, you I don't actually hurt someone. It. Like sometimes when you're frustrated, hitting someone feels good, you know, when they don't actually, you don't actually hit someone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you uh, like just like graze them. Yeah. I mean, I got hit in the shin by a brave and none of that felt good at all. 
I'm like, talking I about in the cry. video. Game. Wait, not the real oh, game. The video. I thought you were talking about the video the... game, bro. I thought like, you crazy. No. I was like, I was like, you crazy. No. No, I've never I've never yeah, hit yeah, anybody right. in a game. Like I'm talking yeah. to, like sometimes when someone like if someone pimps a homer on you in the video game, it feels it feels good okay. online to just drill the next guy. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I agree. I yeah. agree. I was like who there. who hit who hit you? Uh Abreu. Did they hit you? Oh. Jose Abreu. And uh, it was 115 off my shin, and I've been waiting for my apology for two years now. So <laughs> I got a dent in my shin, so I would really, you know, prefer that nice, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'm sorry for being uh, great, you know, just permanent like dent. Those yeah. dents don't go away. No, it, it hurt. Oof. Uh, not fun. Uh, Hunt, Hunter, who is who? Uh, what what's the you know the all all the times that you've been hit uh, by a pitch? Which is the one that that stung the most? Is there one that comes to mind? I can remember we had a hurricane when I was playing for the Astros, and um, mm -hmm. so for two nights, like my roof. This was when I was real young. The roof in my apartment was leaking water. We had no electricity, no water. We get told like. The, the city's kind of in shambles. We get told to be at the field at 7 in the morning, fly to Milwaukee to play a home game against the Cubs. And oh, I remember Zambrano, this. Zambrano drills me in the hip. Granted, it didn't hurt, but he was throwing a no-hitter. We were playing a home game that we flew on that day. And then he hit, got a double play ball the next pitch and threw basically a no-hitter. That one, that one I, I'm not too happy about. Yeah, I, I remember was about I was that. I on him, too. Like, my one out was a line out. And uh, I was I was on him, and he just drilled me. He was like, ah, "I ain't doing that." Was I feel like was that twenty thirteen or fourteen? When I, the no, game was played no, in Milwaukee. Back. I'm older than that. I'm, it was like two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. Let me just Maybe Google here. Colin, you want me to keep going here with the fellas, or what do we? Uh, we're gonna say I'll, you here. know me. I'll stay on forever. <laughs> it's great. We're doing great so far. Blake, thanks for jumping on with us. Hey, uh, we'll, uh, anytime. We'll hey, man, thanks for tomorrow. Thanks for uh, picking up. I uh, appreciate it. Hey, anytime. Yeah, anytime. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Let me know about those pants, Snellzilla, and, and thanks for coming on, man. Good seeing you. All right, good seeing good you, seeing you Blake. They're coming. Both of you. The shorts count, are coming. Count, count me for for shorts too. There you go. Thanks, uh, Blake. Appreciate you. I'll see you. All right, we'll see you. All so, right, Hunter, man. Uh, 2008, Carlos Zambrano's no hitter, September 14th, 2008. Uh, yep, I remember that. That was the that was the home game uh, for the Astros in Milwaukee against the Cubs, which is basically a home game Cubs for the Cubs. Yeah. Right, absolutely. That was a, hey, rough man, one. That was a tough one to swallow. Uh, I appreciate you joining us. Uh, best to you and your family and uh, your, your lovely wife who has uh, uh, done a tremendous job getting this stream together. She has great tech support and also serving as uh, some, some real life support during your game. So we appreciate, uh, we appreciate her. Hey, thank you guys so much. So awesome. Uh, and I'm looking forward to coming back. The best comeback of all time. Absolutely, man. The season's still young. Go get it, okay? Believe it. Take care. All Thanks, right. Hunter. That's Hunter Pence of the San Francisco Giants. Uh, back here as we wrap it up here for night two of our primetime broadcast. Remember, we'll be back with you on Friday. But if you go to MLB.com slash Players League, it has all the standings. There's going to be games tomorrow, and you can watch those games on each player's individual Twitch page. Let's I urge you to do that. Go to ML. Yeah, let's do that right now. So let's take a look at the uh, at the schedule here, Colin. Uh, you we mentioned the there's a lot of good matchups here upcoming tomorrow. Uh, I kind of wish we were they were on Friday, Colin. That way we could really dive in here. But uh, you've got yeah, absolutely. This is what we got getting uh, getting underway tomorrow at nine o'clock Eastern. Gavin Lux, Ryan Stanek, Carlos Santana, Bo Bichette, Blake Snell, Matt Carpenter. Now. Snell six and two, Bichette seven and one, Lux seven and one, Joey Gallo's eight and zero. Oh, they're all playing each other tomorrow. Dwight all Smith Jr. Is following Bo, so all of Canada. Yes, Bo Bichette and the Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto Blue Jay fans 
uh, definitely enthused. I mentioned Dwight Smith Jr. playing with the Baltimore Orioles. He's off to a pretty good start. He's back in action. Trevor May, Juan Soto, Luke Jackson, Tommy Canely, and Joey Gallo uh, all seeing action tomorrow. And, of course, Joey has been the, uh, the story. 8-0. and oh. All right, so – Last we heard here, Hader and Santana were tied at three in the second. Now they're going into extra innings. That was about f- as of five minutes ago. So, uh, But remember, go to MLB.com slash Players League for all the latest news, scores, and highlights and the schedule. Colin, this was fun, man. We'll do it again on Friday, okay? Friday. Be here 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, 9, 8, 9 p.m. Eastern. And also, you Twitch got it. Drops. We got we had Twitch drop. We had double Twitch drops all night. Double Twitch drops? What the? I'm gonna fire up my. Where is my? Where is my PlayStation controller to fire up and get those Twitch drops right now? Uh, I'm gonna Robert, do that. All right, night. everyone. See you guys on. Friday. You too. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you back here nine o'clock Eastern, six Pacific, right here on Friday. It's MLB The Show 20, the Players League. For everyone behind the scenes, I'm Robert Flores. Thanks for watching. See you later. It's time to play ball. Oh, my goodness. 30 of Major League Baseball's brightest stars are coming together to compete in the Players League. The drama is real. Oh, it's so broke. Wow. Oh, what a play. Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Watch the players get their gaming on to find out once and for all who's best in the show.